Misfits and we're coming for the glory Love to hate us cause it's scary That these rejects could be legendary Come and have a taste of tiny bite Could poison your fate You should know the brave They don't be the grave We are the natural ones We're back. Uh, Yay. All right. Uh, yeah. Are we ready to jump into the portals of Bray? Yeah. The loud screech pierces through the tropical pine forests, prompting the wolves to whimper and flee, and the scrags to scamper beneath the rocks. Camera pans up as music intensifies to reveal a behemoth, skeletal, vulture-like monstrosity. This undead abomination screeches out again as it roars, soars directly above the tree line. A visceral, unholy wind escorts this nightmare with an ungodly howl. Camera pans down to reveal a crying, scared gnome child, maybe eight or nine years old, clutched in the talons of this beast. Too young to fully comprehend her imminent death, she simply cries out for her mother, who is already miles away. I think at this point it's best for our viewers at home to simply look away because this won't be a pretty sight. Wait! <laughs> What's that? Camera pans as four figures burst out of the forest, fresh on this beast's tail. Welcome back to the portals of Bray. This is a heroic action sequence. <laughs> All right. <laughs> new okay. mechanic. Are you ready? Oh, new, a mechanic. new mechanic. Yes. In, oh. your, in a heroic action sequence, you only need a D20. Everyone will need your D20. Okay. Uh, on your turn, you have 15 seconds to narrate an action. This has to be something that's believable to your character's abilities, but it will not cost against spells, it will not cost against hit points, or even abilities. So, you can really like take these times to make your characters seem like super badasses in an action movie, okay? All right. 15 seconds to narrate your action. No negative counts for ability spell pots or HP. Accompanied with a one-line dialogue. Now, your one line of dialogue can be a jolt to the enemy you're attacking, like, uh, you know, a a wise crack a superhero, you know, I hope you like fire, and, and then I blast a fireball in his face. Or you can describe your action and then say the line, or you can start the line, describe the action, and finish the line. Then you popcorn it to another player, okay? I mm -hmm. have, there's no, there's no initiative. Wait, describe the thing that's holding her again? So there's this giant, skeleton vulture. It's like Skele enormous. And that's the only baddie, is a skeleton vulture. Mm -hmm. okay. But it's enormous. It's like the it's like Godzilla, it's flying. you know, it's flying above the trees and you Great. guys are chasing down on the ground trying to save this girl in its clutches. Okay? Okay. So you, your turn is three things. You'll describe your action. You'll have a one at least one line of dialogue. It could be to the baddie or it could be to someone else. You could be like, "Hey, Inara, watch this." And I flip over it and pin its tail, you know? Uh, and then you could be like Popcorn and Nara, so she can take it from there. Okay. I get the right to interrupt and steal the turn whenever I want. Ah! <laughs> okay? This is why we're doing this like this. All right. Are we, sorry, are we actually like rolling the thing? Does so you damage? roll your d20, there's no, there's no rolling. damage. Okay, great, great, okay. It's mm. all, this is just narrative. So okay. all we're doing it's is, just fun, cool, it's just badass fun, stuff. cool, badass narrative, but we'll see the dice will, oh, the die. After you do your action, you will roll the die. A 1 through a 10 is a fail, and an 11 through a 20 is a success. Huh. And that's yeah. all there is. A 1 and a 20, of course, will be extremes. But shy of that, it's that simple. You don't need to worry about any stat uh, at all. Okay? Okay. Great. Who's ready to jump into this? I am. Sure. Bianca? Oh, Michelle, Michelle raised her hand first. She can go first. Okay, Michelle, you want to take it? Either way. Okay. 
So we're running through the forest, we're running through the forest, and it's like flying up above us. And Adamaya kind of like looks up to the trees and kind of plans out her move. And she jumps up and uses levitate to jump through, jump on a branch, jump through another branch, jump up, land on his back. She pulls out her boomstick. She aims it at his wing. As You're out of time, buddy. Roll that die. You interrupted my line, Greg. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. To be fair, that 18. Did... Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, you are utilizing these things to get up on its back, and you do, and you point your wand at it. <laughs> what do you do? I, I use my boomstick boom to hit his one of his wings. You hit, so you these giant skeletal wings, and you aim one of the boomsticks at it, and it blasts this chunk of bone that that falls off the wing, and you like you you look back and you realize these fragments of bone have frozen behind it, and then they turn towards you and fire back. <gasps> oh my god. Boom, you get pegged by all these things and oh, knocked off this. Oh, no. And pass it to someone. Oh, okay, so I'm falling through the trees and hopefully somebody makes sure I don't hit the ground real hard. And that's Whoa. Inara. Okay. <laughs> um, Aramaya, why? And I just like throw my hands up on the ground from where I see her and like a big kind of like ghostly swoop goes from my hands and I vortex warp, so a big like almost invisible purpley blue orb goes around her and I drag her to me with force. Thanks, girl. <laughs> Ten. Mmm. No. So she reaches but misses just by a bit. Aramaya, I mean sorry. Yeah, Aramaya is falling through the through the sky, about to hit the tree lines. You should pass it to someone. Oh, uh Cypress. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, wait, do I still have enough time to save her or did she already hit the ground? No, she's still falling. Okay, so and then I turn into giant spider and <laughs> shoot a web and try and pull her at me. All right, yeah. go for it. 18. Okay, you, uh, as she misses the portal, the web managed to spin you and pull you towards it. And I say... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now pass it to I someone. miss Spider Voice. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Jason. Okay. Tristan. I uh I uh I know how to use my magic now. So I'm gonna go to like the tallest point in the landscape nearby. Okay. Like maybe a cliff or a mountain or something. And I'm in a misty step to get up there because I can do that. You wanna jump up to the thing. I wanna like in my mind, I want to get somewhere that's either on the level with the height of the bird, or like maybe just above it to like knock something. It's over right it. over the tree, the treetop. So you can, if you go high up in the tree, yeah, and it's you'll probably be probably like doing a. Yeah, spin, right, it's, it's trying to get a, it. It's yeah. missing a wing. Yeah, okay. and and now its bones are slowly like rebuilding on it, but yes. So okay, so I uh, misty step my way up to the to the top to the tallest tree, and. Uh, I, I I look at it as I cast Vow of Enmity. Ooh. That? It basically means everything I do to it, if it lands, is a critical. <gasps> Ooh. Wow, okay. But I'm only allowed to cast on one enemy. Yeah. Ooh. Wow, you've been missing that one, huh? <laughs> and I look at it and I say, um, evil creature, you are, you, you're dead, so why don't you stay that way? Oh. <laughs> and I, and I, and I, and I throw my axe at it. Okay, roll for it. God, I'm gonna lose my axe in this attack. What, what are you aiming for? It's head. Okay. It's big head. Yeah, oh. oh, and my axe goes. <laughs> <laughs> and then this like this holy light and it like takes over your axe and it <laughs> flings back to. Oh, you. I boomerang it. Okay, yeah. okay. So at least I get her back. Okay, yeah. great. She's an uh, enchanted axe. She's uh, not that easily dismayed. Should we do a circle? No. Should we do a circle? Yeah, you go. Oh, is it? Do I? Do we keep going? Until I until I interrupt. Yeah. Okay, so I'm riding on Cypress's back. Sure. I'm riding on Cypress's back on as he's a huge giant spider, and I and I yell and I decide to throw a chromatic orb and twin it. Can I do that? Oh no, that's Siri. I throw a chromatic <laughs> orb. <laughs> Sorry, wrong character. No, I do Melf's uh, minute meet, uh, meteors. So I throw all this 
rocks appear around it, and it's kind of swirling around it, and or around me, and I'm hurling these rocks at him. Okay, give me the roll. <laughs> at it, at them. At, at no, them. We don't know. Sorry, you're right. <laughs> Uh, 17! Okay, uh, these things are pegging into it, and as they do, it's, you know, it's jolting the side, and the last one hits its claw pretty uh, decidedly, and, and the child, like, falls a little, and she's, like, screaming as it holds just the fabric above her, you know, her cloth right now, uh, and she's looking very scared. Um, popcorn it. And I'm like, Cyprus, the child! And I... 13. I shoot the web and try and pull the kid to me. Okay, you shoot the web at that child and and grab it out of the thing. And as soon as it's pulled out of this creature's talons, it lets out this demonic screech. That doesn't... The hit, does doesn't the reach. It's does. unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, it doesn't reach that far through the trees. Uh, but it starts circling, and it's <clears throat> glowing something inside of its chest. <gasps> oh yeah, it's you, Mish. It's dropped the child, right? I yes, have the child. He has okay. The child. Um, I as the like, I, I've missed my um, vortex grab. <clears throat> And as the like mist comes down, it starts turning different colors, and I do like a bunch of like Doctor Strange things, and it turns into a like a, a almost a solid cube of light, and I send it out over the eyes and body of the creature Ooh. to create hypnotic pattern. Go for it. Cool. <laughs> a four. Oof. That's what I I'm got. I'm changing my dice. As, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this <clears throat> thing, as you're like. Wait, can I portent it? Yeah, of course you can. Oh. But you haven't checked your portent, right? I did already. Okay, go ahead. 19. <laughs> okay, you important. <laughs> you see this happening and see the moment pass you by as you fail, and then you quickly like, no, wait, that's what she does. You saw the future coming, and yeah. you know that this is, <laughs> this is how it was supposed to be. So yeah. you see the moment, and you see yourself missing, and then do it correctly. Um, as you surround it by light, this thing starts like catching on fire, and it comes down into the trees, and it's actually like heading towards you guys now in like a crash. It ha yeah, it's falling. It's yeah, totally but it's but it's enormous, and it's it's falling towards you. I'm and I go, oh gosh, oh sorry, oh my stars. <laughs> Pass it. Uh, Jay. Uh, okay, so the kid is safe. How close is the bird? Uh, the bird is imminent and okay. on fire. <laughs> It's on fire. Well, this like ho this. What yeah. kind of spell is that? Uh, it's light. It's not holy though. It's a hypnotic pattern. Is it's a not charm holy. Spell. Yeah, so it's not on fire. No. Okay, great. Yeah. I'd like to jump on it. Okay, great. I'd like to prep my my little legs and just <laughs> launch my myself big, onto that your bird. Big strong legs. Oh, my that's big not... strong legs. Yep. There you go. Oh no. Three. You try to jump on it, but this thing rams right into you Ugh. and is just knocking you into like tree after tree after branch after branch. Boom, 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 boom. You guys are seeing him get a uh, thrashing. Who's jumping in? Oh my God. Oh, uh, 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 Michelle. Um, I want to, uh, oh man. I have a thing that can help. Let me do it. Okay. Cypress. Yes. Okay. I conjure creatures, and because it's under one, it's under um, a challenge rating of one fourth or lower. I'm gonna uh, eight blood hawks. Oh, okay. Come oh. and start pecking at its face. <coughs> and start attacking. Listen, That's cool. fight birds with birds. It landed in the middle. Reroll. It is in the middle. It was a twelve and a two. Yeah, reroll. Mm, you oh! you conjure these birds, and this thing, its eyes go purple, and this like energy of darkness just surrounds it, and the birds just fall dead. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Uh, it's it. Oh, I popcorn it back to uh, Bianca. It's, How dare you? It's back in control of itself, and it's spinning around, and it's going for the child again. <laughs> okay, I'm still on your back, I guess. Are you still a spider? Yeah. Okay, so I see the birds disappear, and yep. I th I uh, clap my hands in a huge field of energy around my hands, and I push it forward, 
And I want to use Shatter on the bird. Okay. On, on its shatter, does Shatter work I think it, I, it does. What? Does it is work it range? It works on... Yeah, it's it, range. It'll also hurt. Of your choice within Tristan. range. Oh, yeah. But I thought Shatter worked on no, I remember. armor. Do I have to touch him? I we thought had it was anything metallic. Shatter yes. <laughs> first time yeah, I know. From a uh, point of your choice within range... Allow them uh, each creature. Oh, shatter is a sound attack, right? Shatter is not. Yeah, right. It's not what I was thinking it was. Yeah, okay. So, so that's it's. Why I clapped my hands. I see. Sorry, nice. I, I got confused. Boom! Clapped. You went like. Did shatter. it work? I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, thank God. It doesn't. What do you mean, thank God? I'm in his beak. You do it. Oh, I forgot you would have that. shattered me. <laughs> you you do it. I forgot that. But this thing is so big and so fast as you're trying to it just like the the wind that surrounds this thing is its own entity. And the Ugh. the wind pushes you back and this thing now has its claws back on the little girl. Ugh. It's got this one in its beak and it's lifting back out of the trees. Popcorn? Um uh, I see it I see it uh, hit its wind force field. And I'm like, Inara, t- take this thing out. Got it. I'm ready. And I'm, I'm good to go. <laughs> um, I once I spider web my arms and I conjure web where a mass of thick, sticky webbing uh, flies onto the creature's wings and like traps them down onto its body. Let's see if you do that. Okay, this time you finally managed to wrap it around. Uh, This thing's wings start getting stuck. Uh, Someone has an opportunity to try to... Oh, I I, pop cornet. Uh, I, if I, anyone's excited, please just vocalize. We we don't really need to be like, okay, it's, if someone's excited to grab it, just let them. And, yeah, and you're and, in right. its mouth. Lock I, yeah, eyes. I wanna, yeah, in its mouth, I, I, I see the glowing thing on its chest, right? Mm-hmm. You and do. I can, I can hit, reach it, maybe, from its like beak, if I like just slam down. Maybe you can. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Okay. Where is that box? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that box, Ooh. please. You uh, are... Yeah, somewhere. You're, d- you're tired okay. of the dice. Okay, great. Okay. You see this thing... Yeah. Dice jail, dice you jail. See, yeah. You see inside its mouth this like glowing purple, and then actually, um, Tristan, you see in the, gl- in the middle of this kind of glowing purple flame, <clears throat> you see this kind of heart beating. Oh. In also purple, and you try <laughs> to attack it, but you bring your axe down on hard bone, and it just chinks right off. Um, I'll throw a fireball at its tail. Okay. So at least there's something happening. Oh, I got to roll for it. I forgot. <laughs> Whoa, you guys. It's been a while, and the team uh, We're rusty. The team hasn't been in this scenario for a while. You know what? We've been running. We don't know how long we've been running after this thing. We're tired. We okay? st- and we still need dialogue going on. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we've forgotten our our uh, phrases. We have to uh, keep talking. I oh. said to do a I phrase every time. I yeah. A point. On your turn, you need an action and a, and a Eat phrase. Eat this bird face. <laughs> oh, uh, I want to just call out uh, uh, Cyprus, uh, Adamaya, Anara. Aim for aim for its chest. Uh, there's something in its chest. We can bring it down. Oh, sorry. Cypress, Aramaya, uh, Inara, aim for its chest. Uh, we can bring it down. <laughs> <laughs> and I try just one more time. Conjuring creatures. Ten? You need eleven, my oh. dear. Don't worry. I've got it. <sighs> and I use twin, and I try to vortex warp. To the two, the you and the and child. Kiddo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Oh, you guys are brutal tonight. Ugh, this is awesome. It? Oh, is it 18? No, I use portent. I use my second portent. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I knew it was gonna fail. What's your second portent? It was a nat 20. A nat 20. Wow. Yay! I used all my good rolls on my portents. <laughs> all right, you. And you used all your portents in the prologue. Well, you he said take, he didn't count. <laughs> you take both of them and pull them back through these vortexes that open. Um, this. Wait, cr- since it's such a since it's a nat twenty. Yeah. Can I can I vortex like 
Tristan's like sideways, like trying to hit. And like, as I vortex him, like the wind catches Tristan's armor and like ruffles his hair and lands him like perfectly in a battle <laughs> pose. <laughs> and, and, and then like the other vortex sends the child into my arms. <laughs> <laughs> the gnome child, yes it can. The gnome child is crying and- I think I speak gnomish. Calling you mama. Oh. It's okay, my tiny one. That's my gnomish voice. Oh, that makes it feel better. How do you sound speaking actual gnomish? What is it? What does gnomish sound like? Half in junk and tongue and broken. Flip and flop. Flip and flop. Flip and flop. Tongue and broken toe. Also, I feel like a gnome child would be like so tiny. So tiny. Yeah. Oh, like Super a little tiny. baby. Um, I do speak I'm going to try to momentary stasis the thing in the air. Okay, oh, go for it. Great. Let's see if it works. It does. Oh, okay, what is momentary stasis? Uh, you're stuck in an energy. Well, if we're doing real thing, you'd have to roll for a constitution yeah. saving throw. But you're stuck in a magical energy field. <sighs> okay, you. So you're you're he's frozen. Basically. You guys stop time. On pull him. these these infants out, and he is frozen. Um, he hasn't fully ascended in the trees, and you know that he's gonna break free pretty so I'm soon. Like, oh, someone do something! Well, I'm like trying I, to hold okay. him. I roll to shoot more web to keep it constricted. Uh, what? Oh, yay, because I get plus five. Twelve. No, you don't get plus anything. Oh, just yeah. kidding. Then no. Because the, in, this, in this mode, it's just a flat okay. roll. It was I, a I I hold, Okay, I, I, see, I, yep, I, I see Aramaya <laughs> uh, uh, holding it steady. I hold my axe. Oh, the music. <laughs> Keep it. This is good. I hold my axe close. I send up a prayer to Azrael, and I... I I lock eyes with that bird and I say, uh, foul demon, you have, you have winged your last. And I, and I throw it out. Oh, oh. I really want this to work. 13! Yeah! 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 Yes! Wait, can I add one thing? We well, see that, that dead eye kind of like light up from oh, the side. Yeah. Oh. oh, like what if there's like a light bounce off the blade of the sword and it's the skull and dead eye for a second. Yeah, as yeah. you guys see, as you guys, you know, see him even look up to Azrael, for sure you all see glimpses of a skeletal figure, but when you look closer, it's just your friend. Um, you throw this thing and it cracks into the chest of this beast, and it is a holy axe, so as soon as it does, its chest shatters, and you all can see this purple heart pulsating with dark magic. It looks vulnerable, and this moment, who wants to take the kill blow? Whoever can get up to it. I feel like I'm still holding it. So yeah. I'm still holding and I, it. And my axe You cracked it. Yeah. There's got to be one of y'all. Take it. Is it on the ground or in the air? It's, it's frozen, air. but it's, it's like, not too far yeah, in the it's air. Like, like in the tree line, It's right? in the like tree line. Just... Um, I have something that can hit it, but I feel bad because I'm also holding the child. Okay, okay. well, then I'll... Then it's I go to, like... Cypress? I just take my little spider legs and I... Ah! <laughs> And you're I gonna go to launch, bite its heart. Ah! You're gonna launch your spider body into its heart. Yeah. Okay, roll. I, I like go. <laughs> it's, He's it's gonna like bite it, it, he said. <laughs> no, it's every time. Four Damn. sevens here, in a row? Here, 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 here. But here. Four, how um, many sevens? I'm um, gonna do. Oh. Can I? Well, yeah, I think I'm, I'm gonna say like he goes close to it, and you <laughs> launch you launch yourself it. near it, and as you do this, like the purple heart bursts out with flame and just throws you back. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna say like Georgian Froshning Anga, child Anga. Yeah, and then Ooh. turn its you find turn a, the little find gnomish, a guy you like. turn the little yeah. gnomish like cover the little gnomish baby's face and just throw a chromatic orb right into the heart of it. Cool. <laughs> it's an eight again. <laughs> okay, uh, I see that yeah. that happens and I reverse time. Oh, oh, okay, okay. But you better do it, children. <laughs> All right, you're like, like oh. you're like, it's painful to do that. 13! Oh. Yay! Oh. Oh. Finally! It, as you are just about to crack Aramaya, like your like nose is bleeding. Yeah. You're like elevening oh and like holding this thing and trying to rewind Elevening. time. <laughs> yeah. For sure, for sure. Um, and and just just in the perfect last throw, you toss this single flame. What 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 are we using? What kind of chromatic orb? Uh I think <laughs> fire. All right. Old fashioned flame. Or lightning. 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 Yeah. Lightning strikes this thing's heart and it <laughs> pff, 
bursts, and uh, you hear a loud screech, and it starts to fall apart. Like, the bones start to crackle and crumble. Does it, like, fall in, like, a dust, like, a bone snow? It falls in a bone snow over four exhausted, some damaged. I, I mean, I me too. Bring, I got hit with those I want to yeah. bring my, my axe back and walk over to Armai and do, like, warrior, like, high five. <clears throat> I think I've, like, passed Isn't that like passed this? Out. So can I'm, like... I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. Uh, can I lay on hands? Yeah. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah? Okay. And I'll just, because I, I don't know what we're going to do, but I'm going to use all of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I needed that. Yeah, of course. The walk back to Hall Stat is not too long. <laughs> Watch, we just we're like, there you go. Out into the forest you go. <laughs> it's time to fend for yourself, little one. <laughs> it's, it's the age. <laughs> have you wait? Have you seen that sheep? video where like he gets the sheep out of the ditch the sheep jumps around and jumps oh, yeah. right back yes. in the ditch yes. oh, so yeah. like the little gnome kid walks and like a panther's like <laughs> you guys, the little gnome kid is terrified and you lovingly take him back to the village I demand it <laughs> uh, alright where, where what like the gnome family is where a large, uh, huge group of people are waiting, and as soon as one of them sees you, they call out, They've got her! They've got her! And music bursts out in every direction. Um, uproarious applause as everybody is rejoicing to see the return of this safe young child. Um, where is the song I... <laughs> Want. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I lost our song. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were doing Titanic. Portal, portals of Bray. <laughs> <laughs> portals of Bray. <laughs> Honestly, we should clip that and use yeah. that vocal. Pre- previously on, welcome back to the Portals of Bray. Time for a series recap. 1,000 years ago, the Feywild was shattered. Four legendary heroes wished the world back into existence, but their wishes were not strong enough to last forever. Take that, Disney. (laughs) As the universe began to unravel, the gods gathered to discuss their fate, and in this meeting, an entity known as Bray appeared. Bray claimed that the Feywild could yet be saved if the gods were willing to sacrifice themselves. Each of the major gods could leave behind a piece of themselves in the form of a tool of creation, powerful objects that would be essential to the survival and the reunification of the Feywild. Whoever controls the tools will have the ability to unite the Feywild and return it to its former glory, or to damn it to chaos and ruin. Uh. The broken continents of the Feywild were surrounded by a mysterious, impassable mist and grew in isolation for 1,000 years. Then, 11 years ago, the portals of Bray started opening, connecting these isolated communities for the first time ever. A new age of exploration began, and four unlikely souls were pulled together, perhaps by fate. Let's meet them now. You're going to tell the audience in character voice uh, who you are. Introduce yourself first p- person and tell the audience what they need to know about your character to follow along. Like what we've been in the last 11 years or like no, a recap of last like recap season? of everything up until episode 35. You know, so like what you need to know about Armaya is that I come from okay, yeah. this and yeah, try to keep uh, it short. Try to like <clears throat> keep it nice and, and simple. But um, hello, my, my name is Aramaya. And I grew up uh, in, the mul- in the middle of the multiverse. I was adopted by a very evil god named Jurakon. He killed my family and destroyed my village and took me and kidnapped me and raised me as his own. I was a war-killing machine until one day when I met a wizard in the middle of a battle and it cracked just a little bit of my missing memory. And all of a sudden, I started to remember where I came from. That set me on a quest to find out who I really am and find out how I can help the people that we hurt and the villages that we destroyed. 
once I met my fellow heroes, I was, uh, with the help of my fellow heroes, I was able to track down Jurakan and take him down using the bell. The Lyceum bell. The Lyce- lo- using yeah. the Lyceum bell. And now, do you, should I keep going? No, and that's it. That's all we need. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't do it and, now because uh, we'll, we'll learn. We'll oh, learn. I'm, I'm a time mage. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm a time mage. Jason, <laughs> uh, um, I'm uh, 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 Tristan. Tristan Kernu, and I am uh, uh, one of the the rare humans here in the Feywild. I uh, was a famed knight of the Green and uh, uh, a, a massive order of the capital city. And we went to search for the Lyceum Bell and my order uh, accidentally, or so I think, um, perverted and destroyed our god, Azrael. And as such, we um, disbanded and I was on a quest to um, find myself again, basically, because everything I knew had, had blown up. And after meeting my um, three compatriots, um, we traveled many, many places only to discover that uh, the the final place that we needed to be was exactly where all the chaos of my life began. And they got the Lyceum Bell. I was able to say goodbye to my best friend who had been haunting me for my entire life since I got her killed. And now I have a pledge to the god Azrael who has returned as a malevolent or a malevolent spirit well, kind of unknown an unknown kind of bad spirit who is now guiding me <laughs> how are they <laughs> I'm Cypress a dragonborn druid Lona my grew up in a small town village Holstadt we make shoes more specifically sandals uh my dad and sister were murdered by my friend, but we murdered moved past dad. that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then, <coughs> bless you. Thanks. And then, uh, you know, kind of went into the world alone for a long time. And then I reluctantly made friends. And then those friends proved to not be as bad as I thought. And then... Uh, they were were as bad as I thought, and then I left, and then I came back, and I rang a bell, and then the wor- the world didn't end, so that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was good to follow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm <clears throat> I'm Anara. I don't really have a job right now. I was an associate librarian of. Um, a culture that I now find to be very problematic. Um, And I am spending a lot, I come from the astral plane. Um, I I have a twin sister um, who's now a lot older than me. It makes sense if you knew the whole story. Aramaya knows the whole story. I hang out with Aramaya a lot. (laughs) I'm just trying to practice my magic and learn as much as I can and stand on my own two feet and deal with my haircut. <clears throat> well, if you are able to follow those four <laughs> stories, <laughs> then you're our kind of viewer. Should, should I have recapped the, the I'm going to recap okay. everyone. <laughs> Over here, Bianca is playing Aramaya. She's a time wizard who has escaped her cruel god and is living for the first time without him. Uh, Here we have Tristan who belonged to a holy order of knights who did a terrible thing and unleashed an evil upon the world and is doing his best to redeem that. (coughs) Here we have Cyprus who grew up in a small community as a druid and he eventually returned to help his people uh, from ruin and has been leading them ever since. And here we have Inara who is one of a twin uh, sister who grew up in a cult in the astral plane and has also escaped her abusive past. All of them, <laughs> that's, that's... I was good. That's how you DM. Um, okay, I liked it. <laughs> 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 um, okay, 
And with that, this was the song I desperately wanted to do earlier. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to The Portals of Bray. <laughs> season two. <laughs> season two. Point five? Because technically season two started on episode 31. <laughs> and then oh, ended sure. on episode 35. No, no. Season two. Okay, season, season two. two. <laughs> As you guys re-walk uh, back to Wallagia... <clears throat> Back to Hallstatt. Horns are sounding and live music is ripping up again, celebrating your triumphant return. Village elder and survivor, Pa Ma, already is walking to the large stage decorated with every kind of sandal you can imagine. (laughs) That's right. Pumping their hands into the air. And they're into pop punk at Mulagia, apparently. Oh, Lavril Ain is so popular here. Lavril. The okay. heroes of Wilasia have done it again. Oh my goodness, France. We have come for great celebration. <laughs> but then this giant undead jib jabble bird come down, <laughs> steal one of our tiniest children's, and to what end? We can only use our brain eyes to see. <laughs> but the heroes of Wilasia say, Not today, jib jabble bird! Not today! The crowd goes wild. It is hard to believe that 11 years ago today, we celebrate the Great Shoe Festival. Then, cut the music, because this is the part where I get serious. <laughs> All right. The band is like, oh, sorry. <clears throat> but it was a very sad day, because this is the day that the army of Jurakan come. They slaughter our people like we are no more than baby sheep, please, and they break our portal. Then last year they returned once again, tried to break the citizens of Wallachia. Once again, they tried to drive the shoehorn of terror into our hearts. <laughs> but they don't. They fail. Once again, the people of Wallachia stand tall, and we have survived another horrendous attack upon our way of life. And of course, if you remember, the heroes of Wallachia stopped those badasses right then and there. You think you're going to get us? They drive that nasty god right out of the Feywild. Bye-bye, sucker. Jura can rot in hell, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go with Jura can't. All right. I don't need nothing from you. All right, little girl. <laughs> Said child from the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> don't need to hear it from you today because we stand... Tall, even a little bit taller than usual because of our great sandals. <laughs> and so we gather today to celebrate. Welcome to the Great Shoe Festival! Put the music up again! <laughs> all right, before we begin the festivities, we got some special people. I know you all going to know them. They saved your life before. They just do it again right now. And let's hear it for the heroes of Wallachia! Uh, everyone. Yay! Everyone stands up and you're being ushered on the stage as this entire crowd is going wild for you. It feels like you're a rock star. How are you guys feeling in this moment? I feel uncomfortable. I lean over to Tristan and I'm like, that has got to be the worst fight we've ever had. <laughs> I, I know. I've, you tell me. Of course. I've stepped on your heels like twice already, <laughs> like dragging your foot. I'm like, <laughs> so I feel awkward and I'm also like, Nara. <laughs> Have, ha- having done a few celebratory like ceremonies with the Knights of the Green, yeah, I feel fine just doing the yeah. You're used to the it. wave. I hate this, you know. <laughs> but it's the wave through your teeth where uh-huh. you're like, uh huh, that was a really hard fight. That was very <laughs> difficult that we had to go through. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh, one person out in the audience is is like looking at you. It's an old woman. She's like. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Yeah, she just really, she's like, she's straight whoa. from an Adam Is she Sandler someone movie, that I huh? know? No, you've never seen her before. <laughs> what? <laughs> she's just, she's like, I love you. A- Adam Sandler wrote that old woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the heroes of Hallstatt. And of course, they are led by our mighty mayor, Cypress. Uh, yeah. Speech. Speech, speech, speech. Wow, I really hyped this job. Flashback to <laughs> six months ago. Oh. Cyprus, you uh, are with 
Pama. Mm-hmm. And Palma has stepped down, and you've been the mayor for six months. Yeah. Outside of your house, there is a uh, line of like seven people who are needing to talk to you about various things. And you just got back from another Renlock adventure. Yep. Okay. Um, don't worry, Mayor. Going to be with you very shortly. Cyprus. What? You told you'd be gone for three days. You've been gone for two weeks. It's not my fault. We had a banshee we had to kill. Oh, it's never your fault. No, but these portals you go and they're not... It, you're a mayor now. You have to take care of all that. So boring. Oh, sometimes being a good person means being bored your whole life. I don't mind defending off things from trying to kill y'all. You, you, but this is... F- talking about plumbing and f- food rations is... I'm falling asleep here. <laughs> Your people need you, okay? I have stepped down. I cannot be the big head bird forever. All right? They're like, like an, ass, an assistant or a secretary. A, like no a, assistant or no secretary. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You're making a fool of this. All right. Listen. I'll, I'll, I'll buckle it down. down. <laughs> I'm getting the accent back. I'm sorry. Talking like me now. Hello there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buckle it down. All right, yeah, but buckle. I like need shoe. some... Like a great to, shoe. To, to I, shoe. Like a great shoe, you must buckle yeah. it down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll figure it out. But fuck this job. I know. I really, can I... Is, is there like a more exciting version of this? Look, um, if you want to take care of your people... This is where it will. And it won't always be the most adventurous job. It will not Try. always be fire and attacking and eating. Sometimes it will be boring and talking to people about pieces of paper. Yeah, you know, I just need, like, breaks from people. Um, I think maybe we should just focus for a little while on being very stable. I will try it your way. All right. I can't guarantee that I won't be drinking. Cyphers, you can't let them see you drinking. <laughs> they won't. They won't see it, but it will be happening. That don't make <laughs> me, that don't make me feel no better, Cyprus. <laughs> luckily, I have Banyan, who is does not drink as much. That's true. <laughs> Banyan is a wild card in this village. Yeah. He used to be very untrusted and unliked by the people. But over the years, he has proven to be very loyal. <laughs> and I do see a difference in the way the people talk to Banyan. Mm. They look up to him, metaphorically, because he's very small. Is Banyan a bear or he? I don't know. I think Banyan Who's was. Who's that? I am a day, but Banyan I think was. Banyan was a he. Maybe he. No, we'll, we'll double Sorry, check. Yeah, we'll double check. Just just we'll double t- we have a double look. <laughs> so <laughs> back on topic. Yes. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Sorry. Get out. There's no business. He's busy. <laughs> <laughs> I just shut the window. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll do a better job and I will stop leaving and I'll drink a little bit less. You're going to discover that this is for the best. And as we all know, Xanthia is watching over all of us. Xanthia yeah, would, uh, Xanthia would drink with me. No, they, that's true. <laughs> oh yeah, Xanthia will drink with you. Uh, okay, you buckle up. We got six more months, and then you go for reelect, and we, we shall spend such a great, prosperous time together. Uh, so excited. Back to <laughs> present day speech. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Mayor! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Speech, speech, yeah! Hello, kind citizens of Holstat. We've had, uh, <laughs> we've had a great year. Our crops are up. The shoe sales are through the roof. <laughs> we have expanded. We have stores in Priom. And across the whole continent, we are we have done a great job Thank you to our innovators and to my right hand Banyan. Yay! All right, all right, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> uh, I have given this moment a lot of thought, and while I enjoy being home, I do not enjoy being in charge. 
What? what? I, what, I think I he's a great mayor. What does he mean? What, what does he mean? mean? Yeah. Care. Care. <laughs> I wanted to take this moment to celebrate all of the great progress we've made, the innovations we've done, and also to celebrate this brand new wall that is fortified with catapults. Yeah, duh. they said yeah, it couldn't be done. Yeah, they said cool. you it's can't make a guys. wall out of catapults, catapults, but we make that entire wall out of <laughs> many catapults. <laughs> <laughs> You Sorry. like the wall looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> we still figuring it out, okay? I still believe we should One have used bricks. One of them set to trigger, and if it goes off the whole wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh just, no! <laughs> yeah. There it goes like mouse traps. We um, built it too good. <laughs> yeah. I still believe we could have used bricks, but I guess just stacking them on top is how we wanted to go. The Anthea said it was the best with this way. But in other news, the news is I have decided to step down as mayor. What? What? What, what, what does he mean? What? I will not be gone. I'm going to keep my house mm. here. Banyan comes up to you and says, um, Cypress, um, what are you doing? Hold on there, little buddy. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. You will not be left in bad hands. I think... Everyone here knows that Banyan has done a great deal of the work here. And that yeah. I have probably not done as much. So I will still be around to help. But we are going to pass the torch to Banyan for the rest of my term. And then hold re-elections. I'll let you know who I endorse. Likely it's Banyan because it's my best friend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so good luck to the others. But... Banyan is the best choice. And also, I. Uh, huzzah. Oh, huzzah. So Banyan, uh, like, pulls out a little stool and gets up on it and grabs the mushroom that we're speaking into. <laughs> it's a magic <laughs> mu amplification mushroom. And grabs the mushroom. And it's says, a mushroom. Um, a mushroom foam, thank you. Um, uh, this is, uh, okay, this is why a very unexpected. Um, how did Banyan? She kind of had this going on, right? She talked kind of like this. I think it's he they. He they. Yeah. He they. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So we. So um, this is <laughs> unexpected. Um, this is unexpected, and I know that a lot of you are probably thinking, "Hey, that's the guy who stole from me." Um, yes, but I'm also the guy who saved your lives last year <laughs> with the legendary heroes, right? And people are like. Mm -hmm. Pa Moss says for it. Okay, okay. Well, this is well, a very wondrous surprise uh, for everyone. <laughs> a big surprise for everyone here. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm shocked as you. But this is a day of celebration, so we will celebrate. And it is the last day of Mayor Cyprus uh, being here as mayor. Then I say we all let him know how good of a job he done. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Yay. Yay. He was never here. Yeah. A bunch That's of the audience. True. I was here for the last six months. A bunch of the audience are like, are like. I, that one guy still needs the paper signed from six months ago. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's he like please, please do it right now. It'll just take one second. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I, I, it is very important, sir. Um, oh, no. Jason or Beyond, would you mind locating five sacred objects that we... Oh. What? what? Uh, oh. I think they're in the office. I have no idea. What five okay. sacred I objects slid in here indeed? Real late. Uh, we me will. Meanwhile, there's a small couple walking by, and the 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 husband turns to his wife and he goes, "I told you that's it. We're moving to Priom." <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, that's a good Hercules reference. Thank you. Yeah. That's it. I'm moving well. to Sparta. Uh -oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ring, 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 ring. Hey, Who are you calling? You all, have to say because we all had to have names. Well, now you know that uh, telephones have been advanced in the past year, and we now have group calls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Ah, there you all are. I knew there was one more. Goddamn all the gods. How's everyone doing? <laughs> Hey, uh, hello, uh, we're, Redlock. Redlock, hello. We're kind of on stage right now. Oh, are you guys on we're stage right busy, now? Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. guess what? I know. Look out in the audience. It's me. I'm right here. Oh my gosh, oh, Redlock. Redlock. It's me, Redlock. I'm oh, over oh, here in the oh, audience. Oh, you can put your phone 
was keep with you. Okay. Talk is standing next to Renlock, and she's extremely <laughs> embarrassed. And he's, oh right, he, they're like oh, a couple now, up? right? He's pulling her over, and he's Bye. like, and he's like, hey, uh, he's coming on as you guys are being ushered off stage. He's like, hey, everyone, how you all been? Uh, it's been a minute. Now it has been a minute. So you guys, it's been a year since all this shit happened on the Red Spire and everything. In the past year, the world has continued to open up and continue to explore portals. But about six months ago, the portals basically ran dry. And oh. for the past six months, no one has found a new continent. However, you are pretty much the portals all... portals still work. Yes. But there just aren't any new ones. That's right. No um, one's found a new lead in, in six months. Quick like, question. In that six months, have or the, the last year... How good did the other team do compared to us? Oh, oh the rats. The ass hats. <laughs> they did quite well. Um, they they ran they found quite a few portals, as did you guys, to be fair. You yeah, know. but did they Won. save the world like we but, did? And they don't believe that that happened. <laughs> no, when we were saving the world, they were finding more portals and they actually superseded. Um, yeah. We bullshit. need to <laughs> We saved the world, but they made a lot more. We do need to talk about some big stuff that happened in the past year. Uh, at the end of our game, you guys found the Lyceum Bell, and you banned Jurakon from the continent. Um, after that, we would need to know what happens to the Lyceum Bell. Um, I oh. secretly ring it and ban one of the people from the rats that I hate. It only works on <laughs> deities, but you do try. I do look at him <laughs> and I'm like, ding dong. And somewhere in the universe, a completely innocent deity is like, what? <laughs> 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 the god of small just candies. Like playing cards. Yeah. He's a cherry. I've got a pair of two. Now the, the god of small candies. Yeah. <laughs> and one for you and one for... <laughs> the uh, god of small candies. <laughs> it's like banning god. elf on a shelf. It really basic, oh really new god, trying to like insecure, <laughs> trying to just get through the day. Yep. Just, yep. <laughs> Yeah. Was really excited to prep their new song, Who Can Make a Sunrise? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay, but the question is, um, you guys, first is, after you learned a whole bunch of crap, you learned that, for example, you you are the only crap. people who learned that the mist is healing the universe and that gods are trying to reform the Feywild. Would you have shared this information with the leaders of your of, of your cities? You know, Would you have shared this with... Yeah. Renlock, and would you share it with Talk, and would you let everyone know? You learned about... We would have told Siri. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you That's did... That's kind of my thought, like, like, uh, not to keep anything from... Because isn't Talk the head of the... Alliance. Alliance, yes. which is the governing body of Priyo. That's right. I Yeah, I feel like I, I feel like Siri more than... I would have. I, we would have ended up telling them all to be like, "Hey, you have to work together, otherwise yeah. we'll yeah. never it, be it really that's true. I think I, I think I would have been true. like, "We need to report this to everybody." Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so and I am literally the one who's just like, oh, "I don't know if we should trust anybody." Right. Your Siri from season one. Yes. What is uh, this? I finally learned to trust people. So, okay. so you. Trust um, the Autumn Kingdom and Siri more than you do talk and I think that's Rio. just me. I feel they're like probably more. They're probably more powerful. I mean, Autumn Maya definitely trusts Siri more. Mm -hmm. Okay. I trust. But she I trust would no authority figure anymore. But oh. Ooh. Maybe I kind of like Siri's at. mysterious attitude. I relate to it. But I do think it's probably right that we would have just said it to everybody to be like, we've got to work. You all got to work together. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's it, because you did learn, you were told one of the big warnings you got at the end of the season was that you were all these like, um, myth, you were, you were foretold to be the heroes of legend who would reunify the Feywild, but that you needed to find the other tools of creation because right. dark forces were also after them. Mm -hmm. And if they get them, they can write this universe into whatever they want. Yeah, you know? creepy thin man. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, creepy yeah, sexy yeah. thin man. Sorry, yeah. I didn't want to offend you. Alistair, what's Alistair, Alistair up to? I don't know. He has a locket with my face on Where do it. we put the license? <laughs> <laughs> where, where do we store the Lyceum Bell? So that's a good question. Um, uh, where would you store the Lyceum Bell? Which is more magically fortified, Autumn Kingdom or Priyom? Autumn. I would say Autumn. Yeah, right? Yeah, I would have I, left my it My vote is Siri. Is, is there any way that we would have like been able to convince Siri to tell nobody what it was? 
Like, because because I think. <gasps> You yeah, don't have to you ask. Think, I think oh, like we tell so people about think, the mist, and we, we don't we're like, tell them not about the mist. Wait, yeah, you guys. I, agree I don't that. think that any one person should have that much power, even if there's a council. I just want to say, I don't think we ever have to worry about telling Siri not to tell anybody anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, we don't know that. She's a thousand we know years that. older. Siri doesn't want to tell anybody anything. <laughs> no, no metagaming. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> no, that's good. Is, yeah, everyone that's Oh, wait, Siri, so. Cypress wouldn't she, know that. She, I yeah, I think she has clearly so much more knowledge since she was one of the god slayers. So, like, we would tell her about the bell. Is she a deity that could be affected by the bell? I don't think she's a deity. She's not a deity. Yeah. She's not. No. Oh, she's okay. just long she's and just, livid. She's, yeah, she's, she's, she's something in between. She, yeah, she's yeah. something she's in between. She's not a deity. Yeah. Like a demigod. She is kind of demigodish. The god slayers, I would oh, say, oh. are pretty close to that. Yeah. Cute. Like, the, the gems gave them enough. Uh-huh. The gems have touched them. That's why she's them. over a thousand years old, and she looks, he- looks very great. healthy. She her skin is gorgeous. amazing. Her skin's incredible. <clears throat> okay, so Lyceum Bell, chilling in some secret magic vault. Okay, awesome place. That'll get us to where we need to go for the next chunk of this. Um, great. So talk. Uh, Renlock is is talking to you. Like, oh, hold on, hold on. Talk. Come on. Talk. Talk. We're on a date. We're on a date. And talk comes over. We are not on a date. We are not on a date, Renbach. Yeah, we are. Are we still on stage? <laughs> We're back. No, you guys are off stage. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, didn't she look pretty, though? She, tell her she looked pretty. Come on. It's kind of a cute date. You both are on, and then I walk away. This is a really weird place to have a date, Renlock. Well, it's what? The shoot. It, it's a festival. It, it, it is the shoot festival. It's the oh, sh- you got, it's a festival. I'm sorry. I it was just our this thing. one been <laughs> telling me about this festival ever since you showed up in our headquarters, and you say the shoe festival is the best damn thing in the whole. I came to see the shoes. Come I'm on. I'm getting drunk out of a sandal right now. Did you guys see the hall of shoes? And did you see the fountain of shoes? Because that was wild. Also, did anyone see the diorama of Tom? It's real pretty. Anyone diorama who watched the first episode will get all of wow. these jokes. Wow. <laughs> diorama of Tom. Um, uh, 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 Renlock, um, it's great, uh, great to see you. How is the... Uh, How's the council? How's, well, uh, how's uh, well, oh, the, I'll talk, well, if you, <coughs> not the council, but the uh, how's how's headquarters? Oh well, it's going fine. You know, things have been slow lately, and I wanted to apologize for that. But I'm I'm sure that uh, sooner or later we look. There's got to be other there's got to be other portals out there. You know what I mean? When you guys unlocked the Autumn Kingdom, uh, I thought for sure that would mean that the other legendary locations exist too but no one's found a winter kingdom no one's found a summer king so we, there's got to be more out there i just know it i feel it don't you it would stand the reason that would make sense it's, yeah. I, there's actually statistics to prove that there is there there is a lot more out there yeah it's not just it would be crazy to think that there's only a smattering of portals when they're obviously linked to a system that i've been trying to figure out there are some moss okay she's a smart girl a she's smart i can tell you that she's very smart She's a smart girl. And that's right. There are other portals out there, and we are going to find them. And um, I can't believe you just stepped down from mayor. How are you feeling about that? A fucking gripe. Well, I'm feeling good about that, too, because uh, I missed you over there at headquarters in the last few adventures we did. Never thought I'd say it, but I missed you, too, buddy. Oh, that's ah! what I wanted to hear. That's what I wanted. Hey, I got some pri- uh, presents for y'all. Oh, oh, really? Wait, what? Actual presents? Oh, my God. What these is are, this? Uh, you're gonna Real love presents? These. You're gonna love, you're gonna what? Love these. I just thought I wanted to show my appreciation for y'all. Real um, presents? I, I oh. missed y'all. Um, these are... Go ahead. Open it up. These oh, are, my oh, God. They're beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh. Greg. Oh, they're my God. They're characters. So pretty. They're character specific. <gasps> I just got chills all over my body. They're dra- and it's staves and dragons. It's so druid. Oh it's a dragon God, druid I dice. I love oh. these. <laughs> Welcome cute. back to Portal. Mine so have little nice. astral eyes in them. You Mine have a little magical watcher. Blue on them. Oh, oh God. Stars. Oh. Gorgeous. Wow. So I'm so happy. Thank you. I really wanted a, something nice to happen. 
in real life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we will um, right. we will look at our dice and take a quick break <sighs> so we can look at each other's because they're all pretty cool. Um, so we'll, nice. post we'll post them in the Discord. We'll post them in the Discord, yeah. and we'll see you guys after the commercials. We'll see you guys soon. Oh my God, amazing. Greg, these are so fun. Oh my God, these are so know me best from my paw, which granted your wishes, but with ironic and horrifying twists. My son came back from the dead, but he was a lawyer! Well, I'm back, and you better believe that I got a deal for you. What? It's my foot. Ha, oh, give me that bomb. That's right, a genuine monkey foot? My foot plays songs you can't remember. <laughs> yes! Then, it kills you. <laughs> yes! But wait, there's more. What? Some of your dick. It's my left kneecap. Give me that bomb. My left kneecap will score you a major hot egg. Yum, yum, yum. Please. And then they'll kill you. <laughs> yes. We're taking that right to the bunk. Oh, how do I stay in business? Here's another deal. What? He's gonna sell you his dick. No, stop. It's my right ear. <laughs> yes. My right ear will make you the greatest artist in the world. I don't know what that is. But anyone who looks at your art will kill you. Bonk, bonk, goose. Now sell him your dick. <laughs> okay, let's let's get that guy out of here. I'm gonna buy stuff at Haggle Harold. Where business is rad because business is me. <laughs> Every single hour in the Summer Kingdom, a familiar is beaten or abused. 3,000 familiars were rescued last year, but for hundreds of others, help came too late. Hi, I'm Mara Siglachlan. Will you cast Spare the Dying for a Helpless Familiar? Every day, countless magical rabbits, cats, and mini dragons are abused, beaten, and neglected. And they're crying out for your help. For just three Schechners a month, that's only 12 Googlacks a day. You'll help rescue familiars from their abusers, provide food, shelter, HP bonuses, and yes, even love. Teleport or send a Speed Raven with your money order in the next 30 minutes, and you'll receive this beautiful sack tied to a stick for free. Right now, there's a familiar who needs mass cure wounds. Your parchment says, here's an extra D8. Please help right now. <laughs> Is this terrifyingly dark and impressively creepy castle all yours? Every single evil stone. <laughs> but there's... there's... There's no way you can afford all this, Sebastian. I don't believe you. What? I know how much money your father left you. You're a liar. No, it's a liar. Welcome to Larry's Layers. We've got everything. Dank castles, dank caves, dank basements, and much, much more. You want a layer? Come to Larry's Layers, where we got the layer for you. I needed a bog to take the village children so I could drink their blood and steal their souls. Larry's Layers helped me find the right cottage in my price point to leave their lifeless meat sacks. Thanks, Larry! Larry found me this waterfall with a cave of bats behind it. I call it my cave of bats. Thanks, Larry. Bridge, good! Larry, good! At Larry's Layers, we set you up with all your first-class layer needs. Never be caught in a second-rate layer again! 
Come on down and tell them Larry sent you. You're a liar. No, no it's, it's a layer. Larry's layers. Off Woodpat 60 by the Mossy Knoll. Hey, everybody. It's me, Wanda Wonderful from Wanda Wonderful's Wood. And me, Woody Woodley from Woody Woodley's Wands. Reminding y'all once again that Woody Woodley sells wands. And Wanda sells wonderful wood. No, I'm Wanda Wonderful and I sell wood, Woodley. It's Woody, Wandley. Wanda. Oh, no, that's you. Oh, Goblin's given us the 30 second sign. We gotta finish or we'll cut us off. He wouldn't do that, Woody. What? No, I'm asking you, Woody. What? No, I'm trying to ask you. Oh my god, never mind. Okay, so I'm Woody Woodley and I sell Wanda. What? No, uh, no wait, uh, can we do this over? No, this is live. Oh my god, this is... Listen, I sell wood, he sells wands, that's it. I feel like we're beating a dead unicorn now. And the goblin's giving us the five second sign. Cool. This was definitely worth it. So I'm Wanda Wonderful. And I'm Woody Woodley. And I sell wonderful wands. Fuck. Wanda, what the f- Oh, won't you come and join our subscriber family and see the fun we give out happily. Come get freaky, come get super naughty. We love our subscriber family. Oh, Jack, welcome back. Hi. Oh, did it just mirror? Did our break get shorter? Yeah. Uh, welcome back, everyone. We shared each other's dice, and everyone, just so you know, and can be super jealous at home, everyone has super special dice. We yeah. are. Can I ASMR my dice? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I do like the tingly. He has hollow that metal nice. dice. Actually, I got hollow metal dice for They're three. They're holy dice. Like, yeah, they are holy dice. You events. have the same dice. I My favorite dice are the black versions of those. Oh, that is a nice sound. Okay, well, we'll warm them up. Yeah. They all they all got character specific <laughs> dice that match their like, an character themes. I got 18 and then themes. a nat 20. Whoa! I still think it's oh. Oh. That there's actual, like, Real metal dragons on the insides of these. Yeah, his ones are cool. You, they have stabs on the outside and then dragons, don't up, don't like up, sculptures of dragons in the center of them. I might have so almost pretty. cried a little bit. They're they're the perfect dragon druid dice. They oh, are. They're I great. I love it. They're so beautiful. They're I really, really pretty. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Now. Uh, oh, Michelle died, by the way. Yeah. Oh, Michelle could We killed her. Yeah, we killed her. She yeah. passed. We li we really liked her dice, and we wanted to split them amongst the crew. That's yeah. All right. Well, just a little token of my appreciation. Let you know I ain't forgotten you. I don't know what he gave you in world. What do you think? What did he give you in world? Oh, oh. Winter Kingdom ice. <laughs> uh, oh my God. You can't. Especially yeah. shit. It hasn't been found oh, yet. We don't know. Oh, that's right. That's right. It doesn't exist um, right now. Yeah. What do we? Ha what is there out there? He gave what you, did, did we he, each get? Maybe we... he gave you pins or. Up... Or he? What if he just gave us upgraded telephones? Oh yeah, you got the upgraded <laughs> yeah, yeah. telephones. Yeah, 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 he yeah. said, "Yeah, these are upgraded. You can call. You can call. You don't have to use those names either. It just reads your brain. <laughs> 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 Can't even believe that. And you can call group groups, and it's it's very they're they're sturdy too. Feel that. Feel this. Listen to that." That's <laughs> quality. <laughs> That's sturdy. It That's is. right. We're getting these designed. Uh, oh, oh, wow. They designed these in Arge like Arjan it. now, and we're <laughs> making a killing, I tell you that. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to do the uh, the shoe put if anyone wants to join. I, the shoe what? Uh, oh, what? you well, you got to pick up a big iron boot, and then you got to oh, throw it. <laughs> yep. Right. All right. Now, <laughs> in the infamous shoe put, Inara beat Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Again. I had this thought, and I didn't want to say it because you guys were in the middle of like a good like thing. The bird we fought, since we're in oh, the world, yeah. since we're in the world of Wallachia, could we have fought the Velcro? <laughs> oh, sure, we can. The Velcro. Oh. That's like, that would make sense as to why when you break a piece of its wings and it's like gets yeah, spiky. Yeah. <laughs> a Velcro. 
I was like, I don't get really it. Really nasty yeah, thing. It. This was like a. <laughs> super, watch you've never seen them that big before. No, 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 yeah. no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Never no. seen a Velcro that big. Never seen a Velcro that big. Anyway, if anyone wants to get a little friendly competition, I'm kind of thinking I could throw that boot further than any of y'all. Well, what do you say, madam? Shall we have a rematch? Oh, please yes. do. I want to watch. Or am I, I hope you're ready to lose. You want a drink? A, yes. I hope you're ready to lose again. For some reason, Tristan <laughs> is, feels very competitive. <laughs> oh, and he like, did last time. And, 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 <laughs> and he's, like, he's like, I'm not going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lose. You're, you're going down. Last time you got lucky. <laughs> yeah. You got so lucky last time. Okay. You watch your back, little one. We'll way, see. way little tartan. All right, we've it's got a hell of a competition here today. This is the shoe put. Everyone, pick up your first and smallest metal boots. Are you using your new dice? Yeah. Are yeah. we all rolling? Ren, if you want, anyone who wants to be in it can be in it. Is that it? Were you implying a D4? Uh, no, 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 D20. Oh, D20. When you said your smallest boot, I thought. No, oh, so the way the competition works is you have, there are 10 boots of various sizes. And the DC climbs every round, right. and you get two rolls to uh, attempt to throw the boot. And if you can throw the boot by beating the DC, then you go on to the next round, and we up the ante and we do it again. Okay. Cool. So anyone who wants to put in the shop, the shoe put can join. I think uh, I think Cypress and I went and got some drinks and are watching from the sidelines. No, I got a drink so I can get drunk while I do it. Oh, oh okay. I'm you're watch. you're standing with talk comes up to you and is like, they're all idiots. Yeah, but it's oh, right, fun Red to watch. Playing. It is fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. cheers. And yeah. because I have really good hearing, I'm like, but we're high hey, idiots. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Redlock picks up the first shoe and goes, all right, that is a boot. You're not kidding. They know how to make some heavy boots in this continent. All right. Good luck, everyone. It's a strength roll. You get to add your strength modifier. Oh. Okay. First DC. Well, I won't even tell you. What'd you get there? Nine. Cypress, a nine is fine. I got an 11. You're fine. Ooh, I landed on the edge. Hang on. Sounds like a disqualification, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you so saw sorry. that, right? You saw that? You saw that, right, Riff? Yeah, right, Riff. I only got a five. Now, you get to roll twice. Okay. So you you get a, you get a practice. If you do badly, you can take uh, your second our, shot. This is our third roll. Come on, Inara. Hey. Oh, wait, we get to roll twice? Thirteen. You, that's right, Inara. You can roll, you can roll <laughs> twice, but I, wouldn't re I would not recommend rolling... Again, if you've already succeeded, because you have to take your next roll. Oh. Okay, it's not the it's not, it's not advantage. advantage. It's not advantage. It would be you failed your first but throw, I'll go again. Pierre want to do it again to get a higher number? But he succeeded. Because all you needed yeah. was oh, an eight. You just have to get yeah. okay. uh, round one, all anyone needed was an eight. <gasps> Renlock got an eighteen, so he threw his the furthest. Wow. Uh, that, that's how it's done. Not my first time throwing a boot at someone. I'll tell you that story <laughs> later. Uh, round two, everyone advances. The DC is 10. Oh. Renlock with a 19. 12. 16? Is that on the edge or is it 16? Sounds like another disqualification to me. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get over there? Oh, uh, I got a 24. Oh, dang. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was in the middle. You have to do. Uh, pick the lower. 19! <laughs> Any, do you get any strength bonus? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> do you get any strength downgrade? or no. Okay, penalty. <laughs> All right. I got a 19 too. <laughs> <laughs> so like but mine was a 24. <laughs> you, have a, you have a big strength bonus. Well, axe. Damn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yours launches. This is the second largest boot, and you clear it way ahead of anyone else on the field. Renlock turns over to you and goes, All right. That's pretty good there. Oh, That's pretty thanks. good, Tristan. Thank you. Why do you seem so competitive with the little girl? It's not a, don't ask. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You Let's like gesture to me, and I'm just and like, then, like, behind, like behind, this is so fun. Behind Renlock, <laughs> behind Renlock, there's a cutout of Inara with last year's winner. <laughs> 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 no all-time winner. <laughs> no one is beating her. It's like her. a sash and a golden oh. <laughs> <laughs> They call it the Inara Cup. 
All right. It sounds like everyone's moving on to the third boot. This is a DC 12 boot oh. throw. Oh, he's doing fine. Renlock with a 17. Uh, oh, I'm out. Oh, You're, do you roll twice? You get two. Okay. I got three both times. Oh, you want to tell us what happens? I just, I was like, I'm bored. And I walk away. <laughs> this is boring. <laughs> All right. Track. Cypress with so much on Wii. What did you get? <laughs> I got a, I got a thirteen. Um, I sh- I go before you go, and I think I like I grab the boot and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> you threw the game. No, no, I got a nine. Did you roll twice? And you got failed both. Oh. Knocked out. Does it feel good, Tristan? No, it doesn't. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I guess it's Can I sponsor (laughs) another throw? Can I sponsor another throw? (laughs) No, what you can't break the rules here. What you talking about? What if he does one less throw on his next one? But that's a risky gamble. What? To give you another go? To give Oh Do it! Hold on. (laughs) If you Alright, look. Well I how about this? Hold on. I didn't use my second throw. Right. On this one. Mm. So what, you want to give your second throw? And I throw? give my second throw to Inara. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Oh. Palma! Oh. Re- yeah, uh, ref, referee! Uh, yes, what is going on over in this shoe adventure? What? Have you this... seen the shoe prince? <laughs> I love that sh- I love that show and uh, can't wait to see it again. Yeah. This little lady and I uh-huh. have a score to settle. All right, all right. Now, I can't have her going out in the third round. Well, but that is uh, the rules, you know. That's how the Um, rules go. Madam, I only used one of my two throws. Oh, all right. And I would like to gift her my second unused Oh, my God. You want to give her your other role? I've never heard. Let us consult the manual. (laughs) It's like a whole whole ceremony happens. Four people involved in the like presentation of it. And then they open it and the rules are so small. And there's (laughs) and she goes, They can give them another (gasps) if they wish to. It's never happened before, but it can be a first. Alright, do you want to give her your free throw? I would like to give you from now on though, or just one round? No, uh, just, just, just one. Round. Just, yeah. just the once. It is called the the Graceman's so, the shoe. The yeah. grace. The, I will. Oh. I, the, Graceman's on shoe. The Graceman's so shoe. shoe. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, this is a great honor. Wow, we are seventeen. Win- oh my goodness, oh. she has made it back into yeah. the competition. And I get in your face. I'm like, come on, <laughs> come on. We're doing this together. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't know why you did that. We could have just won. I, I'll tell you what. Redlock, I have. Uh, it's 11 years at this point, you right? You just beat her. Yes, so I'm, what I'm telling you. I have you, an 11-year score to settle. What I'm telling you is you, you just you did. You want to ask me why I was a drunk for so long? Oh, no. The answer is right there. And I look at the, <laughs> at the, and I look at the, the huge plaque, and it's right there. There. <laughs> it's staring at me. <laughs> it's getting bigger every year. It won't let me sleep at night. <laughs> These boots are getting heavy as we move on to the next boot. This is a DC 14 on strength for those oh who boy. are still in the competition. Oh, boy. oh, Renlock slips on his first take. But he makes his second. <gasps> I only get to roll once, right? You can roll twice. You roll twice. Oh, okay. You only gifted her that one. I see. That one round. 17. 17. 14. <gasps> you just make it over the edge. We, uh, Renlock looks over and he goes. Not this music. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Shift. This don't make a lick of sense. All of a sudden, you all right. Sweat all back. right. <laughs> Show me the next boot. Let's see. Yeah. We are at a DC 16 on the boots. We still have three people in this competition. All the other villagers are out and are like cheering this on. Let's go, Inara! Uh, you can see that talk. Whenever Renlock succeeds, talk kind of like privately smiles to herself. But then, if, but then if you if she notices you looking, she goes, idiot. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. All right. <laughs> Ooh, he throws, but he goes just 16. He goes just shy of that line. <sighs> Me too. 
Oh, the pressure's on. 17! <laughs> and you're out. All right, little girl. Uh, hey, Tristan, if it's you wouldn't like mind. To be fair, you did ears. give her your role after I know what I did! <laughs> Tristan, if you wouldn't mind. I know! Get, <laughs> and you, I regret it every day for the rest of my life! Tristan, if you wouldn't mind getting off the field, you're a loser and the losers Can go over there. Can I give him there. my next um, second role? Uh, Oh, uh, no, he's out. There was only one s- Grace Smith walkover. Soul <laughs> shoe. Yeah, what, what is it? Is it a throw off now? Uh, it's between you and me, little girly. Now, I'll tell I, you what. Oh, you I, I, I've sprained my wrist. Wait, no, I want to walk over and, like, for sure, like, and not aggressively, like, twice in a row? That means you've got something that I don't. And I know that. I go to take his hand and I stumble and I. And I'm like, oh no, I need a proxy. Will anyone throw this shoe for me? Hold on, we've got to check the rules. Rule book coming out again. The marching band was like, yeah. Hold on, she opens it to the same page because the rules are pretty small. They can't if, if someone, this is crazy, this also never yeah, happened before. If someone gets injured, they can pick someone else to throw for them. My champion is you. <laughs> <laughs> Anara, what are you saying? I can lay on hands that wrist in two seconds and you can be fine. Lay on this boot instead. <laughs> <laughs> lay hands I, on the boot. I have, I, I put my hands on both your shoulders. I have never seen honor. Such as the kind you display on a daily basis. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Hey. Thank you. High five. Hey, I ain't, I ain't, <laughs> I ain't sitting here. I ain't <laughs> yeah, sitting I'm here in the sun. Rest. I did. <laughs> Come on. I want to throw off now. Come on, Tristan. Let's see what you got, boy. We got All DC right, 18. Let's go. Oh, you call that a throwing arm? Come on. That's terrible stance. <gasps> you get two. You get two rolls, right? Yeah. You get two rolls. You get two rolls. What did you get? I did not get enough. 19. Yeah! You got a 19! Oh! Ah! I get ah! All right, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Renlock, you got it. Hold on, Renlock's like doing like little <laughs> stretches. He's like, yeah. I got one more, I got one more take at this and I'm getting that damn boot past yours. <gasps> no. 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 Come look no. at it. Is it a 20? Yeah. It's a oh 20! <laughs> he launches that thing into the sky and it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> Two people going in the next round. DC 20. <laughs> I also just want like there to be the like zoom, the dolly zoom that Hitchcock does on yeah. me. And like for some reason the clouds get gray. And it's like, I find it kind of funny. <laughs> I find it kind of sad. <laughs> and then over to talk, and she's like. <laughs> <laughs> and you catch her that time, and she's like, she's very into it. <laughs> that was a good, you have to admit, that was a really that good was throw. Amazing. Like, cheers yeah. to talk. Like, yeah. Sometimes he's not entirely stupid. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Not in us first. Not that one. Mm. Alright. No. 18. Mm-hmm. Um, Michelle, could you come check this die? Shut up. A 20 again? <laughs> Another 20? Greg. No, it's no, it's um... It's a net 20. It's a net ah! 20! Oh my god! Red wow. luck. Wow. Renlock is like fuming. And in like, a row? I mean, two 20s in a row. He like <laughs> throws the biggest boot they've got out of the atmosphere. Did you meet a 20? I No, I got an 18. Which On your second? Yep. yep. The crowd goes wild for wow. Renlock. Renye, the third. Uh, the seven. Can I, can I huddle with the group really quick? Yeah. Have we considered asking him to join our group? Yeah. <laughs> With roles like that, 
That was um, impressive. Do you really to be fair. want to deal with that energy all the time? Though? Honestly, I, I fair enough. That one. We'll send him to Linda's. That's great. Uh, yes. Mm. <laughs> Linda's group is perfect. <laughs> Linda's group needs someone like me. Aramaya! You look over and Sawney is there. She's in a new outfit since the last time you saw her. She's got some new armor. It's very like sexy girl armor. And she's Ooh. like, I know, it's different for me too. Sawney. But you it's look magic. Incredible. No, it's, I know. It looks like it doesn't do anything, but it's magic. Try to hit me. I don't know. No, try to punch my stomach. Aramaya. Try to punch my stomach. And it like it hits the open skin, and then like this like shell just like hits your fist. She's like, "Isn't that cool? That is really cool. Where uh, have you been? Where well, have you? Okay. What have you well, seen?" Uh, I tell you what, I just got back from adventuring in Dasa Club. Things are pretty wild over there. Are they but still I, doing that VVIP thing? Oh, girl, Ooh. no. The it's it's anarchy. They're <gasps> ripping the VIPs apart. Oh, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I forgot about that. They, they, they staged a revolution. Yeah, That's yeah, right. Yeah. In, our, in our last episode oh, credits, God. they staged a revolution. Yep. So, no, girl, it's brutal in there. Eat it's the rich. I, I, I went Eat in the there. Um, I was able to get in and get out, got some very cool glowy lights. Look Ooh, at these wow, things. Wow, those are gorgeous. I can gorgeous. make them any color. Yeah, yeah. Um, got in, got out. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Not going back anytime soon. <laughs> think think. No one should go back to Das Club. Okay, so it's still in unrest. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how is um, how was the thing? You know, the thing we're not supposed to talk about. Uh, it's uh, it's it's going. It's it's go. It's going. Flashback. <gasps> Aramaya, you are with Siri. Um, and this is the first time you've come to talk to her about the Lyceum Bell. You still have it in your possession. And you've talked with the group, and they've decided that they want to not tell anyone but Siri, and we're going to take it up at that scene, okay? Okay. Um, <coughs> uh, Aramaya, nice to see you again. What do I owe the pleasure? Um, Madam Siri, and I kind of bow a little bit, I've brought a very powerful object that I think you can help us hide. And I, like, produce it. She sees it, and as soon as you like show it to her, her hair like goes, and she like takes a step back. Oh my, where did you get that? It's kind of a long story. She like reaches for it and touches it. She says, "It's been a long time since I felt a power like that." You're very smart. You're very smart to want to. Get rid of this. It's well, I, I, I don't want to get rid of it. See, I think there could be some benefits to using this. The problem with objects of great power is that they draw great attention, and anyone who carries that will be a target. Trust me, objects of great power have costs, and the person who yields it will pay that cost. So if you want to protect it, yes. Just as long as it's not on your body. Can we keep it here? Can you hide it? Who else knows about it? No one else except for my fellow hero friends. Do we have a name? We should know our group. We need a, we need a group. I thought we, we had a name. name. Let's name ourselves sometime. We, we're, 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 we're workshopping <laughs> titles. Um, <laughs> it took it took us a while. To yeah, yeah. God Slayers didn't come natural. Oh, oh, that that makes me feel better. Personally, it wasn't my favorite. Oh, <laughs> but that's what they call us. <laughs> <laughs> um, can we? Uh, no one else knows about it outside of us four. Yes. And now you five. You. Yes, I will help you. I will help you, and I know just the place. <laughs> And whenever you need it, you can come to me and we'll speak privately. Um, I've actually just gotten one of these. Oh, Tele how do you feel? Of, I Tele feel like you of all people would hate not, this. It's not quite for me. Yeah. It's not quite for me. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, but, I'll, but I'll just use it for you. Thank you. I just want you to know that the universe is selecting you. And I hope you can it's understand that. It's, it's selecting you. Oh, oh. These objects, these kinds of powers, they, 
have wills of their own, and you can never, ever take it for granted. Mm. I, I, I won't. If you're going to find more of these, I want you to know that you are inviting great danger in, into your life and everyone around you. But if it's to save the Feywild... And she puts her hand on your cheek, and she looks into your eyes, and you see, she sees herself. And she just has, like, a, not a, even a tear, but watery eyes. She says, then you do what you have to do. And you don't let anyone tell you that it was wrong. Oh. Oh. No. Um, thank you, Siri. Wow. All right, present day. <coughs> so is it safe, at least? Yes. Okay. Well, any word on any of the other objects? Because I haven't found anything. You haven't heard any word on it? No. No no one knows any new... I, I was hoping Dossa Kloop had a, a portal, but it, I couldn't find it. <laughs> We're still on the hunt for them. Great. Any word from Daddy? No, I've banished him from six continents now. Oh. oh. Yes, just so you know, the way the Lycian Bell works, you need to understand the god and know its name to banish it. Um, and you can only banish it from the continent you are on. <coughs> um, you can banish it permanently from the continent. So she can go from continent to continent, turning it off, basically. But sure. Judakan, when you banished him um, in Pacifica, he still could have popped up in Wallachia. Right. By now, she's banished him from every known the place. local places. Any you know, known portal. Yeah, exactly. And you have this. What about Tonky Gibbon? Uh, yeah, that, I was going to say that continent with um, mm -hmm. Macron. Macron. Yeah, Macron. Yeah, Macron. Mm -hmm. We can <laughs> say that there. all the ones you've made relationships with, you've banished yeah, him on. Because I think she would want to go to all those places. It's been first. a year. Yeah. It's been yeah. a year. You've had plenty <clears throat> of time. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, okay, well, um, hey, uh, did you hear about the next event? So no, what is it? The three-legged boot. <laughs> oh, are, are you are you saying you want to run? Well, it's a team, it's a team challenge. <laughs> I thought you and me should go kick some ass. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, we're in. <laughs> are there any other? I thought this teams? was a flashback. Are there, well, we're no, out of we the flashback back. now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we cut back. We cut back. Um, the next. Um, event. I would like to 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 have no hard feelings to any of it. I would like to have bought uh, Renlock and <coughs> Inara. A, a, a beer boot. A beer boot. A beer boot. A boot of beer. A boot of beer. A boot of beer. I... Yep. Renlock. Uh, hey, no hard feelings, right? None. No, none whatsoever. I got to tell you, I surprised myself right there. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I don't know how I got that burst of strength. Something came into me. I, I will <laughs> say th those two, those last two throws were throws <laughs> from the gods. Yeah, they seem to defy all common sense. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, yeah. And there you see them tearing down Inara's thing and putting up oh. red, red logs. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Just like that. And Just he's like, like and he's like, hey, hey, I don't like that angle. Hold on. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's walking away. Um, Sounny wants to compete with RMI in the three-legged boot. So this is a competition where it's kind of like a three-legged race, but instead of tying two feet together, you both put your middle foot into a big, heavy boot that you have to use. <laughs> Utilize together. Uh -huh. Does anyone else want to pair up and play some three-legged boot? I'm going to drink my boot beer because this is the event that I did with Leia. Uh, yeah, and so yeah. I'm just going to like watch the people watch people folk do it. I I know what's coming, <coughs> so I'm also going to uh, take a step down, but I will stand in for like a villager. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want to um, be a, tea, a village team? Uh, um, yeah, like village a village Cyprus, a uh, talk comes up to you. Sure. She goes, um, would you like to do the three-legged boot? <laughs> sure. Thank you. I don't have a lot of friends here. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I have lots. <laughs> <laughs> she likes that. <laughs> she gives you an er honest smile because she what if What if one of you is Banyan and another village person. Yeah, you want to... I'll be Carl! Banyan Carl and Mopa. You could, be, you could be Tom, who has a great diorama. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Can Tom talk like this? Wait, yeah, can we're, Chowder we're, Charlie yeah, be here? Chowder Charlie's definitely here somewhere in the oh. audience. Do you want to be Tom and Chowder Charlie? 
Oh yeah, How Chow to Charlie. Chow to Charlie kind of speaks my oh, right on the yes. break. <laughs> I'm a I'm a very very small. What am I? An orc? No, he's uh, um, a dwarf. Sort of had like a pig he's nose. Like, he's yeah, like a, a pig nose. Yeah, yeah. He was kind of a little round, Unknown. little. Yeah, thing. he's a, known. He's from the porcine <laughs> yeah. uh, family. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. unique. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, uh, uh, I was born ready. Tom, is it? I'm not sure. Well, I'm Charlie. <laughs> Let's go run a race. I was fit to put a boot on my leg. Me too. I was born for this. The second event is starting. <laughs> the three-legged boot. Hi, boy. Hi. <laughs> Teammates will put their foot into the enormous yeah. joint boot and attempt to make it to the end. Every round. We will eliminate the slowest competitor until only one remains. Okay. You and your teammate will both roll 48. So we might need to borrow some dice, everyone. Oh, 48? Okay. Four. Yeah, four. Okay. You and your teammate need 48. You can just, we probably only need one per table. I think I have it. Yeah. I got it. No. I got it. I think I might need. You. I'll just. Can I just yeah, roll you two can, twice? Uh, I mean, you can, but you'll want to. As long as you can remember them, then yeah. Or, oh. you, or you can just wait till your neighbor finishes and use hers. Okay. Okay. You're also gonna need D4s, so have D4s ready to go. How many? Um, probably. Pro- you'll a max of four, but you'll probably just need two or three. And you can. Yeah, those are great. Okay, here's how this works. Uh, both teammates will roll 4d4. You're looking for, to match each other. Okay? Oh, okay. okay. For every six, I remember this. Yeah, we've done it in yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of a Barbie. The, the dancing in Barbie was like oh, this. Oh, right. So, right, 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 right. We'll, so you and your teammate both roll all four dice. You're looking for matching dice, and for every match, you get to roll a d4 to your... And, that, and then... We'll do it one step at a time. Okay. Okay. Who's going first? Uh, I think everyone can roll at the same time. Yeah, I have extras Michelle, if you what want. Is, what is happening over Michelle there? Michelle lost her die. And now I want to know where you're at. On your other side. I see. I'm so hungry. Michelle, I'm so hungry. Michelle. Thank you. You go wait till dinner. Okay. We'll we'll go first. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Soundy and Aramaya. Come on. Let's show them how it's done. Bang. Okay. I got three, four, and seven. I got two sevens. Okay, so what were your others? I got three sevens, oh, sorry. Three metal. sevens and a one. Yeah. Great. That means we get three for our, we get 3d4. Okay. Because my seven matches with each of your separate three sevens. Do Wait. I roll the d4 now? Oh, uh, we have to match. Are you on yeah. my team? Uh, well, I'm playing two characters. He's playing as talk and uh, Sounding. Oh my yeah, God. I'm talk yeah, yeah, with yeah. you and I'm Sounding with you. So oh go God. ahead and roll for our score. Yeah. One and two. Okay, so our score is six this round. Um, do we see how that works? You two want to drive? Yeah, so let's you, go. You both roll your. Yeah, I'll make a note. Both roll your d8s. I did. Oh. <coughs> All right. All right. Now read them out one at a time, Jace. Four, six, two, one. Four, two, one. Oh. All right. All right. That is three successes. Wow. You get to roll. You get wow. to roll three d4. Pick who wants to do it, and that's going to be your oh. your score. You want three d4? I I'll got a roll, bunch of D4s if I'll you want. I'll roll one, you roll two. Cute, okay. Ooh, I'll use my new die. Oh, yeah. Six for me. Com- combined? Yeah. yeah. Plus one. Okay, so we got a six, you got a seven. <gasps> All right, here we go. Come on, Gare. I rolled nine. I got one, four, five, eight. Two, two, five, seven. All, Nine, we, all we got is a five. So we get one D4. <laughs> Okay. Here, do you want to roll it or shall I? I'll do it. Go. Eight. That's no, no, one no, no, D4. <laughs> I did roll a D4. No, the D4 is the eight. triangle. You can't get a D. You can't oh. get an eight on a D4. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> we find out like his D4 has an eight. Yeah. <laughs> four. Okay. Wow. Four. Great. Because there's two other competition. There's two others in this competition. Um. Oh, who? That guy. Where's that guy? That guy. Oh, yeah. That guy is in it. Oh, he passed. (gasps) 
Uh, and one of the others are knocked out. I'll just say there were four, and we just knocked out the fourth one. Oh. Okay. Same thing. We do it again. That's how each round okay. works. Here we go. Come on, Sony. I got three fives and a three. Two threes. Okay, so that's two, because uh, I have one three and you have two, so that's... And I got a four and a six, but you didn't get So that. we get 2d4 for our score. Do you want to roll one and I'll roll one? Okay. Three, three, one. four, eight. <laughs> one. <laughs> three. Oh, Damn no. it. Just one, three. Okay. All right, what did you guys get? One, three. Yeah. So just one, one d4. Yeah. You want to do it? Come on. <laughs> Two. Let's oh, match. Okay, okay, here we go. We're not that much ahead of us. I got one, six, seven, eight. <gasps> one, four, six, one. Wow. Okay, so, so that's three because my one matches twice with your two ones. Oh. So that's three d four for us. Okay. What do you want to roll? You roll no, two. I I'll roll two one. Threes. Okay. Oh, she had. Oh, two you threes had two then. threes. Yeah. You get one more d four. Okay. You roll oh, it. No. Oh no. I rolled a two, two. there. Four. We got a two and a four. Six. Two and a four? Are we out? Saudi! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! What the? I hate this fucking boot. Oh, I'm not doing this drink. thing. Come let's on. get a drink. Let's go get drunk. Let's go get this some shots. A, this was a dumb game. Let's get a drink. Greg okay. having multiple oh, personalities. Yeah. Actually. Okay. <laughs> All right. And Talk is super into it. She's like, I know. Okay. Look. Do you see their weakness? <laughs> okay. If we can glint the sun at them. They'll the sun. fall, okay? We will glint the sun. <laughs> okay. Here we go. It's us versus Chow to Charlie and Tom. Oh, 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 oh. I'm ready. One, two, three, five. Oh. Don't say it. I got three sixes and a four. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Three, three, two, six. Two, six. You guys are going to win. Okay. You want one, I want one? We don't one. even have, we we're out of We can't one. even roll. We can't, we didn't even get off the, the starting line. One. <laughs> one. So okay. Two. She two. got, one. talk got super, talk Wait. got super competitive. Is it c accumulative of all the points? Or no. Or it's each round? It's each round. Uh, so talk got super competitive and, and like, and was like, cheat and lost. something happened. Uh, <laughs> so the winners are, Chow to Charlie. Chow to Charlie. And Eric. What's my name? Tom. Tom. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> and uh, don't and, mind him. He's and uh, to very say, old. And to say how happy I am that you all let me in on this festival. Uh, ch uh, you get a coupon for chowder, and you get a coupon, coupon. for chowder, and you get a coupon for chowder. I hey, love what are chowder. all those? Are those? Um, are those? Petrified horse carcasses? <laughs> they're cows. Oh, they're cows. They're cows. We feel better about that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, don't have a cow. We don't know have why. Oh, don't have a cow. Have a chowder. Uh, okay. Don't have a cow. It's a cow. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna write the <laughs> someone's. We're gonna good. write the Charlie commercial, obviously. Oh wait, Just I would like to. <laughs> hold on, I would like to try some of this chowder because I'm a fan of, my, of some chowder. Oh do yeah, you like good chowder. Scoop yourself up a cow. That's very unusual, but I'm gonna do. I would eat chowder right now. I would eat so much chowder. This is the best chowder I've ever tasted in my damn life. You get a coupon. Oh my god, all the way and. Oh man, you're almost towards Knox Pews. Uh, I, I'm the exact halfway point between uh, whatever the Mith town was called in the <laughs> Kingdom. Mithrandane. Mithrandane. <laughs> yes, Mithrandane and Knox Pews. Aren't you on the on the other side of the gra grassy knoll? No, that's the cars. That's Larry's mechanics or something. Oh yeah, Larry's Lairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 A lot of people confuse. Yeah, me. a lot yeah. of people confuse because it's with a Larry. grassy <laughs> hill, not a knoll. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, like Through the crowd, you guys see Permissa and Sprout. Cute! Uh, Permissa is a also a little short gnome witch that has often traded futures with oh, your shit. group. And Sprout, you know, is your local uh, hedge witch or head wizard. Hedge wizard. <laughs> um, hey, Linda, are they still... Have you and Sprout been keeping up with this <gasps> romance? Oh, Linda. Oh my god, are there little sprout babies? Oh my god, Linda. <laughs> You're not here yet, but you will be soon. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, I think Linda and Sprout. First person, first person. Um, it's a confessional. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So someone asked her about Sprout, she's like, oh. 
confessional. <gasps> Sprout and I, uh, it was fine for a while. Oh, no. And um, we just, you know, and we just went our separate ways, but we wish each other the best. And um, and uh, now I'm, I'm single back in the market. <laughs> 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 well, in that case, Permissa and Sprout may or may not look like they're on a date. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, Honestly, per- Permissa's kind of a good fit. Permissa s- for Sprout for sure. Yeah. Permissa sees your group and goes, "Oh, ah, uh, hello, hello! Uh, I- I'm so glad you guys invited me to this. It's such a." Different celebration. I'm glad you came, Permissa. It's good yeah. to get out of that shop. I don't get out very often. Yeah, there's a no. lot of smells. But I looked into my future and I saw that it was going to go just splendid, just splendid. You gave oh. yourself permission. I've never heard that before. I like that one a little. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> and like from across. <laughs> yeah. From across. Boo. Boo. Yeah. And I'm like, like drunk and she heard that and she's like, no. <laughs> kidding. She loves when I make puns. Hi. <laughs> I'm okay. Um, <laughs> Permissa, thank you for uh, the, 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 the drawings, oh, the, the fortunes. Oh, the horrible portraits. The horrible portraits. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well, that's what, uh, I, do. It's what I do. It's what I do. I'm sure you're well aware, but they all came through. Yes, of course. And, they always uh, do, my dear. They and it do. was actually quite <laughs> oh. helpful for us in a very dark, dark hour of Oh, need. yes. I've, I've seen much of it. I've watched many of your adventures. I can see things in my little old crystal ball. I don't need to leave my shop very often, mind you. I know that um, we had a year to discuss it, but um, did you draw any more portraits of that really scary guy? Oh, oh my gosh, god! Yeah. I, I <laughs> haven't, I haven't seen that one or anything like it in some time. Piercing eyes. No, but I did see a funny thing. Have you have you run into Leia today? No. Are you, oh, you haven't yeah, seen her yet. Totally She's here. Well, I saw in my visions. I saw that you and Leia were speaking. Oh. And I'm, it was here in Holstadt. I'm sure it's today. Is it? Oh, it hasn't happened yet. She must be here somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Leia? Well, when's the last time you spoke to Leia? Flashback. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I see. Uh, okay, you and Leia are getting home from something that we decided to do together, and it didn't go well, and we're fighting. Um... Do you want to set with yeah. that? Yeah, I just, you just don't have to be rude to me. It's, it's the not first about time. being rude, or I'm trying to get you to a point that you can actually assist I me in these. I have never used this currency before, and I didn't understand that the smaller coin was more this expensive. Is, that's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> it's difficult for me to have to go to these places with you because I'm always watching out for you. I'm always having to look out at everything you do and teach you how to live in this world. You're just mad because the shopkeeper called you ma'am and me miss. I'm. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was loaded that was locked and loaded that feels like that happened in real life <laughs> you know I, Leia gets quiet and um, I'm sorry she walks to a window nearby that looks out over the city <laughs> do you ever miss home I miss feeling like I was in the safest place with the person I wanted to be the closest to. But, and I miss the learning. But I don't miss feeling like I knew a lot of things and not actually knowing anything at all. What about you? Well, I went from being with Tudor to being with Judakhan. And I got really strong, but I, I thought I would enjoy not having someone tell me what to do, but I think sometimes I miss it. It's miss much it easier to do shitty things in this world that people have to do to survive if someone else told you to do it. And you don't get that yet, and I, I don't know that I want you to learn that with me. I just don't think you need to always make the decision that feels like is going to get you the win. I think sometimes you can just be a little softer. Inara, the world is not soft. 
The world is not going to be nice to us ever. Do you get that? I. What happened to you happened to me differently. I lost you too. It wasn't just you. I know you experienced 10 years of life. We're still twins, even if it doesn't feel like it. I feel like you're my... my Don't say it. Sometimes I feel like you're a child. Oh. Well, I feel like no matter how much older you are, you haven't really grown up that much. So I guess maybe... You maybe know, you should go find people your own age to hang out with. If you don't want to hang out with me anymore. I hope you grow up soon. I'm probably going to do it at the regular speed. <laughs> she turns and walks <laughs> away. <laughs> okay, are we still going to go to the market tomorrow, Leia? That was the last time you saw Leia, and that was four months ago. Did you guys just break up? Did they not go to the market? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the next morning I'm like, we're going to miss all the bread. <laughs> 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 but like you saying I'm gonna probably grow up at a regular state. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good you response. Have some today. <laughs> You're just mad because she called you man and called me kids. <laughs> That was good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so uh, you okay. haven't you haven't run into her yet. I mean but what was the last thing that happened between you two? Um we just had like a sister conversation. You just had a sister conversation. Like a sisterly conversation about being sisters. I feel like you're bullshitting me, but I'm too old to care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey. Valid. Do you want to uh, <coughs> join the shoe debates with me? <coughs> yeah. Right, the shoe debate. Let's show them what we are made of, shall we? The shoe debate. Oh, yeah. right. I think I did well. Good Everyone last time. It was interested in signing up for the great shoe debates, <laughs> please come to the stage. Uh, Permissa is going to go participate in the shoe I'll debates. Go. Oh, okay, what the great. hell? I'll go. Oh. I think, didn't I win last time? No, I won the... You won, won something. Some you won something. Won it, some we only debate. did one debate, so it may have been that you won the debates. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll never enjoy a debate as much as Bastion dashing. I mean, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Which is weird because Bastion is here. No! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! I'm oh my god, god, I'm Where here. did I come from? How, How did, did I, I save you people too? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I forgot. Okay, <laughs> the great shoe debates. Um, two participants will take either side of a dramatic speech. Whilst imprisoned in a giant sandal prison. Oh. The, the giant sandal prison has an open toe. <laughs> <laughs> and but, the openings are like. But the people <laughs> in Halstead, they promise not to use it. <laughs> uh, okay. You will be given a debate. You'll do a quick D20 to see who gets to choose their side first. Um, you'll have 60 seconds that you'll Who's have. Who's Who's you're going? You, so Armai is in, and Tristan is in. I'm in, and I'm and in, and in. Inar's in. Do you want to be in? Uh, and then Banyan pushes me, and I'm like, Ugh. and you're in. Great. So, well, you're going up against someone's going up against. Them. I'm surprised Renlock's not here. He likes to gap. Oh yeah, Renlock. Oh, yeah, he does. Renlock. Yeah. Renlock and Permissa. Push for, yeah. Renlock okay. and Permissa will go off off each other, and then we don't have to watch them. Um, okay. So. Uh, we're looking for Missy to go against each other. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Are, uh, we'll talk. We'll see what time we're at. <laughs> um, okay. So the first, uh, let's let's do this. Everybody, roll a d20 for um, for initiatives. Mm. Mm. D20. Mm-hmm. Sixteen. <gasps> Sixteen. Twenty. All right. Are we adding anything to our initiatives? No. Nah, just flat. Nine. Okay. So the first is and eight. First up is Cyprus, and you are debating versus... Well, what were your other roles? I got a 16. For... Oh, and I have two. And a 19. Okay. But if we want my two characters to debate each other... Yes. And we can do it off camera. Okay. Yeah, okay. Wait, off camera. No. I okay, fine. We everybody wants to watch you debate yourself. I was going to say, no, I want to watch you do it here. All right, fine. I will do both of them on camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, I need my phone. <gasps> All right, roll d20, both of you. Um, oh, yeah, so I'm debating myself, okay, so, so it's you two. 
Cyprus versus, oh, one legendary hero versus another. Oh my goodness. Our own Cyprus mayor, ex until very recently. Okay, mayor until very, midnight. Married until midnight. <laughs> uh, and of course, champion Tristan. Let's see who will choose their place in the debate. Oh my God, roll. <laughs> oh. 12, 20. All oh, right, no. you get to pick your side of the debate. Um, here is what and I'm we not going to tell you what side I, uh, whatever topic he wants <laughs> that I prefer. This is a very famous quote from famous Wallachian. A shoe that fits every foot is right for none. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wish to take agree or disagree? A shoe that fits every foot is, is right, right for, for none. I agree with that. All right, you are on disagree. You must argue that this is incorrect, and you must argue that this statement is correct. Uh, you will get to go first. You have one minute. All right, now we're breaking this down into three roles. It's an intellect roll, okay. a wisdom roll, and a charisma roll. Oh, okay. And if you want to break that down into your argument, that would be a plea to intellect, a plea to emotion, and a plea to popularity. Slash oh, got it. And we do before, so we know which direction to go so i think you can be like uh we actually did it after last time so we just saw how well it sat with the audience oh got it but oh, i like that um so like i would be like okay intellect you know and then I'd try to 15 seconds and roll intellect and then go okay oh i see or okay. you can just or you can just improvise and I do think all i want to roll i want to try all three beforehand see what the highest roll is and then just build my argument that way i'm okay with that so this is your intellect roll okay 21. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, that's a good start. This is your <coughs> wisdom. Uh, 24. Amazing. Total? Yep. By itself? 18. Oh, so. Plus six. Oh my gosh. 24? Why? How do you get plus six? Oh, oh because I, your job, six. right, our levels. Yep. Okay, 24 plus 21 plus charisma. Charisma? Uh -oh. You have plus six to intelligence as a paladin? No, no wisdom. wisdom. Oh. I was like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> you were like... 19. Um. Wait, it's those big numbers. Oh, I'm using these guys. You're looking at your defense. You're looking at your... That's saving why. Throws? Yeah, you're looking throws. at your saving throws. No, oh. look at the big numbers next to that. Oh, okay. So I rolled an 18 for wisdom that plus one, so 19. Okay. And then intelligence, I rolled... 18. What did I say that was? That was the 18. That was the 18. And the other one was the you 19. You got 21 for the first so I got, one. So I got 18 plus 20. Okay, so, you, okay, so you're at 38, and now yep. we'll do charisma. And now charisma, and that is uh, 13. You did good you're all around. Still rolling. All right? I mean, so 51 total. Wow. That's a really good debate, Jay. Are you ready to be very good? Yeah. Yeah, because you kind of nailed all of it. <laughs> so you have ready one to be minute. Very good. Okay, wait, ready? So what is it? Uh, you, one minute. Um, tell us. You think you're so smart. Explain why a shoe that fits every foot is right for none. Go. Because all people, races, and beings are different. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it gets louder and louder and louder and louder. Wow. I've never seen such a good debate so quick. <laughs> but I feel like it was so intelligent and so wise and pretty charismatic. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, now you must argue that this is not true. And I have a... Intelligence role. Eight plus... <laughs> Uh, what? Nine. Okay, nine. <laughs> and now your, your wisdom. <laughs> a two. Okay. Plus four, six. Okay, nine. And, uh, six. this tracks for being pushed into a competition. Yeah. So totally. like, <laughs> um, what's the last one? Uh, char uh, charisma. Charisma. Oh, that's perfect. Um, <coughs> three. <Okay>, well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, you have one okay. minute on the clock. <laughs> and go. Uh, hello? Hey. What's the question again? Uh, okay. A shoe that fits every foot is right for none. You disagree. Uh, well, first of all, uh, uh, um, that statement is 
superfluous <laughs> and doesn't make any sense and I've tried to change it for years. <laughs> which is exactly why I resigned as mayor. So have a good night. He still hasn't signed my papers. <laughs> 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 this is why I resign by midnight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. This is a pretty easy one. That genius over there <laughs> is stirring up a crazy crowd. <laughs> okay. All right. Next come the next debate. The next debate. Okay. Who's this? Oh, we have Aramaya, a warrior who once <laughs> takes her sword against our people, <laughs> but now uses her sword for us. Welcome, I welcome you, friend. And over here we had a little girl who threw that boot pretty far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm older than I look, it seem. All right, uh, please roll d20 to see who uh, gets to pick your side. 19. Okay, 19. 20. It's All right, in between. Bianca. It could be a 16. I'll just call it 16. The power of the heel will always beat the power of the toe. <laughs> Do you agree with this statement or do you the disagree? The power of the heel will always be greater. Will be beat. Will always beat the, the power, power of the to toe. Um Yes, I agree. You have decided to argue that the power of the heel will always beat the power of the toe. And this means you must disagree with this comment. All right. And I do. The debate. <laughs> uh, please enter the sandal prison. <laughs> <laughs> like fire goes up <laughs> really far away though. Yeah. <laughs> like, it just smells like leather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um what do I do first? What is uh, it? it's intellect, wisdom, charisma. Intellect is 20, 21, 22. Ooh. Cor wisdom? Uh-huh. 13. Total. Is there any uh, addition? No. Uh 16 for charisma. Okay, you're you're killing it. So are you ready it, to? Are you ready? This table took a minute to warm up. The, are you ready to kill it here? I don't even tough. understand the statement, <laughs> but yeah. Here we go. The people are gonna like it. Whatever you say. <laughs> here we go. All right. The power of the heel will always beat the power of the toe. The power of the heel will always beat the power of the toe, because the heel is the foundation. It is what holds up the rest of the body. Truth. It gives the power to the legs, to the abdomen, to the lungs, to the brain, to the heart. She speaks oh. my language. And being on your toes is balancing. It's risky. Be the heel in your life. Oh, uh, now I'm crying. <laughs> wow. I think that gives us all a whole lot to think about. But not everyone agrees with you, pretty lady. This little infant child has come, <laughs> come, come up to tell us her own version of things. Uh, intellect? Intellect. And you add your modifier. Right? Yes. Uh, 22. Ooh, okay. Now, wisdom. What? You guys are rolling well here. <laughs> not everyone. Well, not all of us want uh, to debate. <laughs> 18. Wow. Ooh, that's a good debate. Charisma? Uh-huh. Five. Oh. Oh, you okay. still do you do very well. And I want to tell you. She's smarty what. pants. But I don't, people can't are do like, math. I don't know I how don't much know. I got. I don't know what you got either. Yeah. Okay. But this is good. This is a good good show, you know? Please. The toe of the shoe. A heel gives you power. A heel gives you kicking force. A heel gives you brute force. But what is force without direction? And how can you <laughs> apply direction without the toe. Walk straight in front of you. Is your heel leading the way? No, it's the toe. Walk, turn around. Did your heel take you there? No, it's the toe. What do you need to move forward? The toe. Speak. Do you know where to go? Follow the toe. Truth. When you're throwing something, where do you do, what do you do? You point your toe. She's young. You know <laughs> When you're walking down the street and you are feeling a really good song that's coming on, you think heel toe, heel toe, because the toe goes. Go with the flow and follow the toe. Oh, oh my God. Wow. This is one of the most spirited debates I ever watched in my history. 
All right. <laughs> now we have two more <laughs> good people here. Wait, who are oh, you? oh, I'm going to say that one ah. later because this one. This one's so close <laughs> that I will keep it for a little while. First, we will see two others. Uh, Renlock and Permissa. Come on to debate. The topic is brown shoe or blue shoe? <laughs> <laughs> Permissa gets to choose, and she chooses blue shoe. Is that really what you... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Let's see how Permissa does. Ooh. Just one. Pick your favorite one. I'm just going to put it in now so we don't have to. I have the Discord. I picked this one. Okay. Okay. Uh. Well, um, as we've all grown accustomed to them, shoes of various colors, everyone could be quite entitled to their own opinion as to whether a blue shoe is preferred to a black shoe or a brown <laughs> shoe. But I would say that in my study, um, I have found that blue has a slightly more appeal to magical creatures. Uh, and so I would have to say that it is a superior shoe. <laughs> <laughs> and then Renlock gets off okay. of it. <clears throat> all right, all right. Well spoken, madam. <laughs> <laughs> but did you forget one thing? Brown shoes <laughs> wow well that was a really bad round of debate <laughs> a 19 from one of them total and the other got a 22 total oh wow they all rolled bad. low all right i think uh we have now come to the point where we will decide the winner of this debate uh in the second round, with a score of 51 debate points, Aramaya narrowly wins <gasps> and beats out Inara. I, I'm shaking your hand, Inara. In the first round, with a score of 18 points, uh, 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 Mayor Cypress did not win the competition. <laughs> and didn't with, want to. With I a didn't score, want to. <laughs> with a score, and this might have blown your minds, of 51 points... We have a tie in the great debate. Oh, oh the crowd goes wild as Armaya and Tristan walk up to take a chair. Do we have a tiebreaker? Oh. We have to. We have All to right. have a tiebreaker. All right. Uh, I have my D20. <coughs> here's the tiebreaker. Oh, yeah, Hold play. on. We must check the rules. Only one page. There's really you start to think there's only one page with writing on it. Yeah. They go to the one page and they go. Oh, I keep assuming it's an entirely blank page with one rule. I think it is. We just like just one rule. It could be that too. I was thinking that the rules are actually just very simple and there aren't many. All right. Oh my goodness, they must do a debate off. This is going to be wild. <laughs> All right, when we do debate off in Halstead. I don't Halstatt, think we should say debate off. Why? It sounds like beat off. Well, okay, well, you're the mayor, and I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> but I trust you. We're calling it the speak off. <laughs> in the speak off, we will name a topic. And you will have five seconds <laughs> to name three things in that topic. What? That would be so <laughs> terrible at these games. <laughs> this is the ancient rule. Oh, God oh, damn it. No. Oh, no. So sorry, friends. Okay. Wait, do we, we don't have to roll anything. No, you don't have to roll. All right. Well, how's this going to go? Like, is he going to You'll go first. If you get it right, then it'll be until someone fails at their topic. Oh, my God. Or if I'm someone so fails and the other picks this. it up, it's a win. Did, wait, we did this at the, yeah, at the blockbuster at the, yes. game, and you were so much better at it than me. Okay. All right. All right. Are you ready, Aramaya? Yes. You have <laughs> five. Go, you have five yeah. seconds to list three spell casting tools. Spell casting tools. Spell casting tools. Uh, a wand. That's one. A, a staff. That's two. And a necklace. Bang. Like the necklace that Siri wears? That's yeah. where her power comes from. That is three acceptable answers just <laughs> in the nick of time. <laughs> oh. All right, we will now move over to Mr. Tristan. 
Mr. Tristan. Mr. Tristan still reeling from embarrassing loss at the shoe put. We have to continue <laughs> the same thing or a uh, new no, topic? No, new topic. Oh, new okay, topic. okay, okay, okay. All right, Mr. Tristan, please, Hi. please name to me three. I'm just making this up. <laughs> Spells. What? Uh, ah. Lay on hands, um, Jim's magic missile, and uh, fireball. <laughs> A way that, easier one. All right, this is getting pretty exciting now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, Aramai, back to you. Please name three continents <laughs> Priom, uh, Macroon, and Talkie Given. Oh, unfortunately. Oh, Pacifica, Pacifica. Oh, <laughs> but unfortunately, you said Priom first. So, oh, Priom's not its own? No, well, Priom's a city. <laughs> Oh. In Pacifica. In Pacifica. He got a way easier one. Yeah, you, that, was, that, was, well. that was a way harder yeah. one. <laughs> okay, that was a way harder one. All right, I take it. I take it. I take it. <laughs> Just in the nick of time. All right, Tristan. Oh, no. Please name. <laughs> Three of serious children. Three. <laughs> <laughs> please name. <laughs> Three. This is why we should do debate. Yeah, we should probably end it here. <laughs> I can't think of much. Oh, no. Three. You can't think of it. Name three class abilities not in this group. Spell like oh, a... Like okay. A, yeah. Uh, uh, a monk, a ranger, and uh, uh, a necromancer. Those are just classes. And isn't, that what you were, isn't that what it is? No, class abilities. Yeah, what, that's a pretty... What's an example of I that? I don't think he could do that. What's a comp of that? Uh, like Stunning Strike. Let's just roll to see who... who I think roll. at this point. This continues for an hour. Yep. Yeah. Wait. Oh, you win. I got a natural one. Cheers! Oh, yes! hey! Hey! Season two! Is that the first not one of the year? Yes. Yeah, Yay. first not one of the year, everyone. Yeah, and I have an empty Can glass that win? <laughs> because it's the first not one. Yeah. Yeah. That I mean, that like you actually give a really compelling debate, but somehow it goes over everyone's head. Yeah. So they like mine and better. You just, and you just do this. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, yeah. 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 I Michael Thomas granted it. <laughs> As you wish it to be, so it shall be. Uh, okay. Mm. At this point. Oh my god, I love that you would not won that. <laughs> uh, as you guys are celebrating your win elsewhere in the crowd, Linda, Oliver, and Vic Ooh. have arrived. Oh no. Accompanied, oh, no. accompanied oh, by no. Leaf, Vic. whom no oh, one knows is now a serial killer. <laughs> Wait, who? who? What? Leaf, not Leif. Leif. Not Leif. Oh, the Leif. little one, yeah. Leaf. He's Leaf. He's a serial killer? Yeah, yeah. In, in his post-game thing, he's just decided to make Leif a, Leif a total psycho <laughs> serial killer. Yeah. But no one knows yet. So you're so just everyone's talking about like these serial killings and they don't know who's doing yeah, it. There's a serial they're killer. sucking yeah. out whoever it is sucks out people's life force and their eyeball. Oh my god. And somehow they, they keep doing it through their feet. Yeah. It's, oh, okay. Because he, he grows. But that's pre and that's Priam's problem. So <laughs> Lin Linda, Oliver, Vic, and Leaf arrive. Uh, let's see a scene of these characters entering Wallachia and seeing it for the first time. Oh, oh the this time? is really oh special. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Look at this yeah, gorgeous place. This is gorgeous. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a beautiful picture of what I'm the seeing. The issue with people journal. who have everything, like they seem really happy. They're not going to want to make a deal. You know what I mean? The it's people kind of, who see that oh, they have of a deal? What do you mean? Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, <laughs> there he goes being cryptic again. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm just teasing you, bird. Um, this makes me want to sing. Okay. <laughs> I love that for you. So do it. Would you like to sing? You can sing. Linda, I love it to hear you so sing. So do it. You have such a gorgeous voice. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <It's a woo. laughs> oh, friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were gonna let's have a song, Linda. Okay. <laughs> Here we are oh, at the shoe festival, <laughs> my friends and me. Oh, <laughs> oh, you are my friends at the shoe festival, and my friends love me too. Oh, look, there's our other friends, and they look nice. 
one of them looks like she just wanna debate. <laughs> Everyone else seems plastered. <laughs> oh, friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was lovely. That, that was, was really I lovely. I always love to hear you sing, Linda. Oh, you got thanks. such a gorgeous, beautiful yeah. We voice. should start charging for that. Oh, okay. I never thought I would you you make know. a little money on the side. The voice is free. So. Oh, it's yeah. around Maybe. this time all of you noticed that the little quiet, weird plant thing that followed you here just <laughs> actually is exiting from an alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Lee, hello there. Oh, my poppins. I had to use the bathroom. And who are oh, you? Let's... Do I know him? Uh, oh. you, you've probably seen him around Renlox. You've been around for a year. Do you, you work are, at Renlox? You're pretty this quiet. One likes, likes I've seen you around, in, in but I, f- I don't uh-huh. think we've ever been sent out together. I am Leif. I, yeah, I've, I've heard about that. Yeah. This is Leif. He comes from my continent. I'm Vic Danvai. No, pleasure oh, to right. meet you. You know each other. Yes, of course. He's a child oh, of, of Leif. Of Leif. Yeah. From a previous relationship. Who is I am your Leif, son of Leif. Love. Love. Leaf, I thought Leaf, Leaf split up life. with you. Love no, Leaf. no, absolutely oh. not. That's on me. Sorry. We are lifelong soulmates. I was just checking. He makes my heart flutter, and he like does a little like. Oh, that's this is why cute. I protect Oliver. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we protect Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> we. We, oh. <laughs> we protect friends. <laughs> is it more than just what of you? I'm looking at. I grow into things, and things grow from oh, me. Oh, Roy. We all grow from the plants. I grow too, but in a different way. Don't worry about it. Around this time, the crowds <laughs> part. <laughs> <laughs> the crowds part to reveal a clean sight of Linda, uh, uh, sorry, of Sprout uh, with Permissa. And Linda, you catch that. Um, and they're looking <gasps> oh, pretty cute. Oh, no. And Sprout, is, Sprout has just made some flowers for <gasps> Permissa, and she's... Blush. Oh, blush. <laughs> oh I'm, I'm so sorry, Linda. Is this hard for you to see? You no, to it's, no, it's fine. That's fine. We we parted. We parted as friends, Linda. <laughs> but actually, if we it's could maybe okay. go over to this side of the festival, hey, Linda. <laughs> yeah, of that's course, all right. That's fine. You want to make him jealous, hey, Linda? Well, I don't know what I could do to make him jealous. Oh, I've got an hey, idea. Linda. Give me your peck. <laughs> Give me your peck right well, here. I'll put my what, arm around you. What do you mean? You. I don't have any idea. Oh, when you were stuffy at one of the games. Hey, yeah. Well, have a good laugh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's going to look over. Yeah. And he's going to... <laughs> What's yeah. that? Hey, That's the little plant pulling on Linda's hey, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, What? Yeah, I'm what? Like eight times. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What? Oh, I'm so sorry, <laughs> tiny, tiny voice. Your hey, voice is just so hey, small. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Linda. Yeah, yeah. Do you like them? Huh? Oh no. You know I do. <laughs> I I can't I can't hide it. I do. do you, does it make you uncomfortable? Well, um, Leaf. Something I've discovered is that that pain is a. Grief is a, is a process of life, and, and sometimes you have to go through it to get to the other side. You didn't answer the question. I will be fine. But does it make you sad when you look at it? I... I... <laughs> We don't know he's a psycho. I know, I know. I know, I know. I know. Yeah, I know. so you know what? So you know what? <coughs> yes, it does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, God. That's a very really good friend. He's looking out for you. Thank you, Leif. You know what? That's very nice of you. That's you so want... nice of you, Leif. Yeah. I do what I can. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! What? What? what do you mean? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, boot beer. Oh, let's, that's right. Let's nice. go get a boot beer. beer. I have to use the bathroom. I'll catch up. <laughs> Coming up soon. Do you go? <laughs> you go to the bathroom. Go murder Sprout or Provisa. <laughs> Coming up soon, uh, the Flaming Shoe. This is a four person competition. Anyone wishing to enter will need a team with four. Whoa. Uh, should, should we compete? Sounds like something for us. Let's show them what good sportsmen we are. Yeah. I think we should challenge the other champions. <gasps> oh, the the four know. of us versus the four of They're them. They're so strong, though. Oliver, I think we can take I them. I think we've got pretty much the same lineup. Okay. Let's Almost identical. I'm like, what's what's Oliver's level? They're safe for now. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, cut, over, cut over to like, cut over to like, like 
<laughs> he sprout his take and permiso over to a little like cute little garden and and then you and see like, around a wall it's just yeah you like <laughs> yeah they're like cut they're like they're like holding hands and these like vines are coming oh out of the garden God. they get up and walk away just when it like yeah. just as it reaches they just miss it and one of the vines goes <laughs> basically <laughs> there will be three rolls to find out yeah. God. Okay. okay, well, we've got one team of four that has agreed to do this. It looks like welcome to Aramaya, Tristan, uh, Inara, and Cyprus. Will we have any competitors Woo! against them? Well, hold on. Hold for applause. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! Uh, yes, I know. Now, who who would dare take on the champions of Wallachia? We will. Like, from the back. Oh, yeah. the spread. And as soon as the, like, crowd spread and we see this force, um, uh... How do your act- other characters react? This is the weirdest looking. Like the other four, are much the <laughs> yeah. Same you height. guys are very. Yeah. This is a, th- a three foot you, owl in. You guys uh, are the very co- very tall yeah. orc tiefling. Yeah, you guys are yeah. the cool ones. And then there's <laughs> the, like, you look like you're from a cartoon. This, <laughs> yeah. this group for sure. Uh, okay. Anara, so I think Anara's like, oh God, is that Vic? Oh, is he going to talk to me? (laughs) (laughs) Is that Vic? (laughs) Please romance yourself. (laughs) (laughs) I think, I think, I don't think Vic would. Anara's a little old, like, for that. All right. The Flaming Shoe is a series of obstacles that a group of four must pass a shoe that has been lit on fire through. (laughs) All right, so you have to get the shoe from through four very difficult shoe-themed obstacles, which you'll now help me discover. What are our four difficult shoe-themed obstacles? Oh, okay. Um, you know those, those the, it's like a four thing from Ikea, those like storage things? Yes. That's like four boxes to put yep. storage in, that's one. And you have to put it through one of those boxes. Okay, you have to <laughs> put the boot through the correct box or else it like yes. spits in it's your face. The, yeah. And it'll shoot a flaming <laughs> boot at your face. <laughs> It'll shoot a flaming boot at your face if you miss. They're all flaming. Isn't it a flaming boot challenge? If you miss, yeah, right? It yeah. shoots the flaming boot back at you. Yeah, you yeah. have to yeah. yeah, you have to get the boot all the way to the end. Okay, what's the second challenge? Okay, the second one is an arced ring. So you have to throw the boot through this ring. It has to arc through the second ring and go through the third ring. Mm, okay. Okay. Arced ring pass off. <clears throat> okay, what's the third challenge? Um, it's one of those uh like I can't remember the name of it, like gladiator type things where you have to run across and it's all just boots. It's that all just oh, a, 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 <laughs> like a gauntlet. Yeah okay. yeah. okay, the boot gauntlet. And what's the last? <laughs> the very last one is a set of like Chelsea boots that go from toe <laughs> th- to knee that lace. And you have to lace both of them. <laughs> and both of the, la- the laces are, have been rubbed in grease. Okay. Here's oh, how my here's how is this is challenge. here's how this is going to work. It's going to start. Everybody, everybody, take out a d20, a d12, a d10, and a d4. Those ten to four. Yeah, twenty, twelve, ten, four. I think is the other one. Oh, looks like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. And sorry, <coughs> you said that again. A ten. Yeah. Just three. I didn't even know my mouth. Thank you. Just three? No, no, no. And a four. And a four. And a four. Tenny, a, t- 20, 12, a tenny, 12, 10, 4. 20, 12, 10, and 4. 20, 10, 12. Okay, Greg, will I need my personal stats for this? No. Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, we don't. You don't need anything other than those dice. And it looks like I've been leveling up Oliver anyway. So that's oh, He's the same he level at, as He's at six right now? He's at six. Good. I have not looked at Vic. Um, yeah, okay. He's like, Leaf. That's okay, because we don't need our character stats for this one. Okay. It's all going to be a mechanic that I'll describe right now. This is actually going to be timed in real life. Oh. I'm going to roll this d20, and I'll tell you the number. All four of you are going to start trying to match that number on d20s. Okay. As soon as one of you succeeds, everyone can stop. That person who succeeded will roll the d12, and the remaining three oh. will have to match the number on their d12s. Whoever succeeds will pick up that D10 and roll it, and the remaining two will try to match it on their D10s. And whoever succeeds will pick up the D4, and the last person will match it. It'll, I'll explain it as we go along. Yeah, please. It's, that makes sense. It's pretty easy once you see it in action. Okay? Whoever gets it next stops rolling, and everyone has to meet that. Number. That's right. So if I roll D20 and I roll a 15, all of you are just going to start rolling your D20 until someone says 15. And if it's Garrett, then Garrett is basically done with the game. Garrett's going to grab the next die down and roll it and give everyone else the number, and you're out. 
and then whoever oh, and then whoever matches Garrett's yeah, number. It's just running out. Yeah, and then whoever oh, whoever matches like Garrett's. Yeah, but it really the idea is to get the whole group done yeah. as in as quickly as, as, well. as, quickly as possible, okay. and then we'll time it twice: once for our heroes and once for our secondaries. So, yeah, and we'll see who gets the faster score. Okay. Oh, okay. fun. Okay. Are we doing okay. heroes or secondaries first? You tell yes. me. Heroes. 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 Okay. Okay. We're starting with the heroes. I'm going to the stopwatch. Um, as soon as I roll this and speak the number on the d20, you're all rolling your d20s trying to match okay. it. As okay. soon Can we as get music for this. Yes. Okay. And then and and. I need you all just to talk in character. <laughs> to be like, oh, damn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. Okay. okay. So we can get some difference between the two. Okay, here we go. The beginning. <coughs> Ready. Set. The number you're trying to match on D20 is. Three. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, I thought drums were going. Oh, oh, oh. This is God, got it. Okay, okay. okay. he's got a three. Roll your 12. All right. Everyone else, switch to 12. Oh, okay. Two. To get a three? Again? You need a two, two on a 12. Two. A two. Get oh, a gosh. second two. I got a two. I okay, got we two. got a two. Ah. Get, roll to your T10. Switch to D10s. Seven. 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 Seven on D10. Oh, I got a seven already. Okay, on <laughs> D10. That's the first one I rolled. Great, now roll your D4. Oh, Jason, gosh. it's just you. Two. Okay. I got a two. All right. Ah! Hey! Ah! 22.38 seconds. That was fast. That was really fast. Yeah. All right. Elder, thank this. you for the biddies. Like Who's their biddies? Elder. Oh, Elder. Elder. thank you. If there is a Thanks reward for, for those biddies, biddies, let us know. I don't know why we didn't get an alert for it. I uh, have to put my four out here because I can't see the number on this guy. All right, now we're rolling as off secondary. All right, yeah, because uh, in okay. what, oh, just, what just happened that was, was a very Cyprus. Good roll, heroes. Cyprus got through that box of boots real fast. He just like punched right through the right one. Right. And on the other side, Inara was waiting to grab that flaming boot and throw it through. Oh, because I'm good at throwing boots. To throw it through, oh. that's right. Use your skill to throw it through those yep. loops, which Jason catches it. Oh no, beyond which Inara, which Aramaya catches and goes through the boot gauntlet. They're going in that your face. I use my teleport right to like go in and out. And then the last step is is Tristan sitting Tristan there lacing, lacing up those, up those boots, boots, which he does <laughs> very fast. <laughs> Has he laced these boots before? You've put on so much like sweaty armor. It's yeah. armor, yeah, right. That makes right. sense. All right, um, all, right. Um, all right. Secondaries, take your positions. Right. I'm ready. All right. I'm very excited. Back to your D20s, we go. I love rolling dice. I'm really good at it. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> the number you are trying to match on your D20 is. Eleven. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! I got it! Stop! All right. Well, we'll take we'll take it here. Go, Bianca. Roll your D twelve on D twelve. Got it. Okay, we got a three. Go to your D six. A D ten. Four. Four on D ten. These two. It's four. Got it. Got it. Go to your D four. All right. You've got a roller. Two. You've got a roller. Two. No. 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 D four. A two on a D four. You can no. do it. Come oh. On. Oh, yeah. oh, you've got a two. I love it, bud. Oh, good. Great job, team. Great job. Everyone else can come with me to the casino. You've got to just sing. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happened in that one was that uh, Oliver did a great job getting through that box of boots and booting through the right box. <laughs> and then... <laughs> He threw it over. Did you get the second one? Leif. Oh, you you got Leif the did. Leif got I the did. second one. Leif, you were able to I just, ex I just extended, extended my your arm, arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. like right it right through. It goes over to Vic, and Vic, you got through that gauntlet you, pretty easily, oh. and then you all gave it to Linda, and Linda, you got distracted <laughs> and like saw something. Oh no! With her big hands, she could not yeah. lace oh, those through yeah. the tiny little holes. She could not get that. Yeah. She was like, it should be like restringing a loot, but I can't do it. With 22.38 <laughs> seconds compared to 32.54 <gasps> wow. seconds. But it, it was close until those D4s. Like you guys, Ugh. but yeah, lost some time on the first roll. Kept up if that third roll, if that last roll had been there, it would have been pretty close. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, the I'll others. Make your day better. <laughs> the primaries come up right. and... And give love to all of you uh, and congratulate you. And 
Um, I don't know how easy it is to role play that, but <laughs> here, we that here we go. Here we go. Primary, it? primary, secondary, primary, secondary. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Oramaya, I think primary, you, primary. You, you were wonderful. I love watching you. Thank you, Vic. So I think you ways. did it. Oh. In your skill, <laughs> in your talent, in your okay. <laughs> Thank aggression. You. I, Okay, yes, thank you. I think Cyprus you I did just well. love what you do. It, you. Just, it was wonderful. Oh, well, Linda, you know I'm a fucking fan of you. No. You Come know on. I am. <laughs> I liked you first. Okay, primary, secondary, primary, secondary. Go. Wait, who's who? <laughs> you swap your other character. Uh, um, I, we don't actually talk that much, and I feel like every time I come around you, I end up talking over you, but I think you did a really good job, and it's not really your fault that you guys lost. If we didn't have Aramaya and Tristan on the team, we would have lost too, I'm pretty sure. I bet. Uh, hi. <laughs> wow, uh, Tristan, uh, I am such a huge fan. You performed so well. Oh, I love it. You're so strong and you're so tall and you're Great. so heroic. I really look up to you. When I tell For you what? I can't wait to share your book with all the knights oh, that I know, his little feathers start blushing. I oh. am so excited to read every single chapter of that novel. Oh, Tristan, you're too kind. You're too kind. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. No! <laughs> uh, as that happens, um, <laughs> talk comes over. Uh, really well done, everyone. Really well done. Renlock. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. You guys, that was some fast teamwork. Both of you. And hey, you guys are going to catch up with them soon. All right? That little freaky plant thing makes me creep out. You guys? <laughs> <laughs> Every ending is a new beginning. I don't, yeah. It's because he's, yeah, he's always saying stuff like that. Yeah, it's but wild. when I try to talk to him one-on-one, -on -one, he just kind of says hi. Yeah, he keeps asking me if someone's offended me. <laughs> 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 and I just kind of like crisp crawl away. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, you guys are so good. I was just remembering, and as they're talking, talk comes over to you, Tristan. Um, oh. She says, um, Tristan, if I may. I, uh, yeah, of course. Um, how have you been this past year? With the n nights and everything? Um, that is uh, a bit of a long story. Yeah. Um, I heard that you dueled... Um, Another member of the guild? I, I did. Flashback. <laughs> oh, uh. Okay. We are <coughs> late at night and a large well-built man in armor is drinking a pint at his desk and he slams it down and he lifts his head. What are you doing here? Um, what was his name? You tell me. <laughs> oh. uh, 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 Perry. Winkle. Uh, yeah, I think I I wrote them down, but then I forgot to send them to you. The first one you had said earlier was like Sh Shinehart or something like that. Reinhardt. Reinhard. Yeah, you want to do Reinhardt? Let's do Reinhardt. Okay. Reinhardt, you must answer for your crimes. Are you still up on all that? You always were a little weak one. I was the one who went back to the tower to undo the mess that you created. You went back there? You expect I, me to believe that? I... Uh, head on over and look at the land. It's receding and it's growing again. You have always been a weak child. I don't know how you ever even accepted into Le Green. You didn't belong with us. You couldn't do what was necessary. You never had it in you. Sir, I invoke the right of the Knights of the Green, and I challenge you to a formal <laughs> duel. <laughs> You're going to get yourself killed, boy. You can't even look me in the eye. Oh. I unsheath my sword. 
uh, yeah, I'll fight my sword with this one. Um, Ready your blade, sir. You really want to do this? No. He stands and he takes out this enormous two-handed blade. Very well. I'll lay you where you belong. This is going to be an action sequence, so <gasps> we will go straight to D20. Uh, 1 through 10 is a fail, and 11 through 20 is a success. Fight, fight, I'll fight, use my fight. new ones, but she hasn't warmed up yet. <laughs> we'll use my new one. We'll see. Good luck. Um, he uh, waits for you to make your first move. Uh, I, with a 20, I... Uh, yeah, what lunch. do you want to do? Um, just I, you know, just a nice opening you, lunch. You go, f- you go from casual to like bloodthirsty so fast that he doesn't see it coming, and he barely gets the sword up in time to like deflect the blow. And uh, he looks surprised. Uh, you've gotten faster. I, but you're still weak. <laughs> and he like pushes you back with his. That's an eighteen. What's our success? Uh, he pushes you back, and when he does, <clears throat> the weight of his sword and this man's body is enough to throw you across the entire room. <gasps> it throws you and blasts you into the wall across him. As he stands, you feel you are nowhere near the power of this man. You and all the little peons we stepped on, you're just a means to an end. Can I take his uh, wine jug without him noticing to, like, throw it at him? Sure. Dirty fighting. 17. You splash it in his face, uh, and it cracks, and it goes in his eyes. He's temporarily I, paused. Oh, I shouldn't do this. I, 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 I'm so close to him, I just want to grab him and, like, like, tackle him. All right. You try... And, oh, God. uh, oh, 11, seven. So you, you grab him and you are trying to tackle him, mm-hmm. but he's like huge. He's huge. <laughs> so he's going to try to uh, grip, grapple his sword, but he is caught off guard. I, uh, uh, I, I'm just grappling with his, his, like his gauntlets and, uh, 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 you will, you will answer for um, for everyone that you killed, especially Kentel. Right. Say her name. Do you want to roll for that? Yeah. Just God. to see what you're doing. 11. Okay, that's all you need. Uh, okay, you are getting the better on this guy. Um, he was unprepared. He's been drinking. And you are coming at him, and he doesn't see a lot of it coming. But... He gets his whereabouts uh, back, and with a 14, he grabs you by the neck and li- lifts you up into the air and holds you there, hanging from your neck. And he looks at you and he says, Do your worst to me. You will never, ever hurt me. You will never beat me. You are a child compared to me. Do you see it? Look in my eyes, and I will choke the life out of you. Uh, can I... I mean, can I... Can I call somebody? If you feel you need to. Do you want to roll and see if you can do it without? No, I feel like... Well, I obviously don't die, but... No, I think I want to just call it. Okay, what do you want to do? Can I do it? Yeah. I grab his wrist and I call out (coughs) to Azriel. And I say, my late, uh, in my head, uh, do I have to say it out loud? (coughs) You should say it out loud. (coughs) My lady, madam, I am your willing servant. Please help me. Help me kill my enemies. Time freezes. And you hear a voice. What will you give me? 
What do you require? Something small. A memory. A memory. Um, the sound of, of the dwarves from my home hammering, the music that they made. Not enough. <sighs> my dad's voice. Wow. Done. You feel your body filled with power, and your eyes start burning with this red rage. What do you? And want? I get a little skeletal. You get a little skeletal. I, I, I tear his fingers off. Just by touching them, his skin starts to bubble, and he screams in shock, not understanding what's happening. <laughs> and I, and I grab my my blade. And I lower it to him, as, as I, and I back him up to the wall, and I say, uh, Kentel, say her name. What are you? I am the last thing you will ever see in this world, and I am vengeance. Ooh, what you can go join your whore. <gasps> can I stab him? And I stab him. Um, he's unable to, in this state, he can't hold a, a candle to you. Uh, and the blade goes through like butter. It's literally like you don't even have to apply pressure. It sears through his, his body and through his armor as if it were nothing. <laughs> and as he chokes, he smiles and looks you in the eye. He says, You're not enough, and you'll never be enough. <laughs> and he chokes off some blood and dies. And I, look, and I look at my forearm. And the number drops by one. Yeah. That's where we're going to end tonight's episode. <gasps> we are come to nine o'clock very quickly. Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah we, listen, this was an action-packed episode. We yeah. started We started, uh, We started. started a little late. So, like, yeah. But, gosh, that happened fast. Welcome back to the Portals of Bray, everyone. We didn't even get to the major plot hooks and I'm thrilled about it. <laughs> 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 We're still at the Festival of Shoes in Wallachia. <laughs> no. And uh, we'll pick it up because now um, we've seen a little of what's been going on with these characters for the past year. And we may or may not have a psychotic plant kid. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? Hunting. I, see... I rolled a 20 on murder, so it's yeah. happening. I want to see like a one-off murder mystery uh. with this plant. Like not our normal character, just like somebody, I don't know, like I investigators or something. I love being lame. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so life. fun. We will uh, talk to you next week. Come Bye. say hi to us. Bye. Come hang out with us on our Discord. We love it. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Love yeah. It. We love it. We love it. We'll see you soon. Bye. One from the stars whispered in dead of night. They burn our pages, but we're damned to survive. We flirt with dying because the fear tastes like wine. Heathens creep like demons. Misfits and wake
favorite misfits and we're coming for the glory Love to hate us cause it's scary that these rejects could be legendary Come and have a taste of tiny bite could point